Manitou. Now in her fourth appearance at its national championship, the Scott Tournament of Hearts, out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. A long time, third for Colleen Jones, now skipping her own team. She knows how to win. She's in position now to make the playoffs here. She's a two-time mixed champion, hoping to go it alone in Regina. Lights, cameras, not much action. TV hasn't been good to Kathy Trowell in Saskatchewan. Three times a TSN, three losses. Now it's time to stop before it breaks Saskatchewan's chances at the hearts. Kathy Floyd from New Brunswick started the day with four losses, but has slipped to five. BC Sue Garvey is at four. Floyd would like to bring her back. You never know, five might get you in. Leading the way is Alberta. Two more wins today. They sit atop the table at eight and one, followed by Ontario's Ann Merklinger and Team Canada. Sandra Schmerler lost her third today. Three teams at four losses. Look at the bunch at five and two at six. Who knows? It could be a wild tie-breaking day on Friday. These are the games on the ice as we enter round 14 here in Regina, where it's getting colder and there is snow in the forecast here at the 1998 Scott Tournament of Hearts. Our thanks to the ladies and gentlemen of uh, Troop 11 here at the RCMP training headquarters in Regina. Welcome back, everyone, to TSN's continuing coverage of this Scott Tournament of Hearts. These ladies and gentlemen are already preparing for the RCMP extravaganza to be held here in Regina, June 25th to the 28th of this year, and they'll feature the RCMP tattoo. So if you're in the area, make sure you watch for it and watch for more RCMP celebrations throughout our country as the Mounted Police celebrate their 125th. Coming up as we march towards the playoffs here at the Scott at a very important game. Nova Scotia and Saskatchewan both at four losses. And again, our thanks to uh, Troop 11 with their thoughts, Lyndon Ray. Well, Ray, now I know why Vic wanted to go watch the drill team. They have very neat rows. Have you noticed that? They march in very neat rows. Vic would like that. I'm not sure he'd be so popular with the RCMP if they ever saw him drive that car of his. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a packed house tonight, and it is a very big game. Two teams with four losses, and two teams uh, that have had some ups and downs over the week. Well, obviously, Kathy Trowell's had a hard time, uh, you know, when she's been on television here and uh, with those three losses that we've seen them all. And they really, it's their first uh, heart, and, and I think that, uh, you know, the magnitude of the whole thing, and, it, and she's not alone. It happens at the Briar where teams that go for the first time. I said it before, and I'll say it again. You don't know what it is, but it's just something that's there. This is obviously a very, a huge game, four and four, both these teams. It looks to me, Linda, like we may have to bring our sleeping bags on Friday <laughs> because there could be a lot of tiebreakers because five still has mathematically a chance. Mary Manitoul has been around a long time, and, and uh, she's here, and she's about time. If she's going to win, she's going to have to start now. She's got all kinds of experience. There's really no excuse, but you've got to make the shots. Well, you know, one thing that has impressed me this week, we have said in our analysis that perhaps her strategy is a little bit up and down, moving from offense to defense at times that we're not really sure. But one thing I've noticed, she has the stomach for being a skip. We weren't sure. She's played a lot of third, but she's made some terrific last shots and put a lot of pressure on her opponent. Tonight, when the pressure is on, Yes, it's tough to play in front of the cameras, but if you're playing in front of the cameras and the packed house, that means you're in contention, and that's a positive, and you have to think of it as a positive, so it's going to be whichever skip can make those big shots that are going to make the playoffs. Vic? It's the featured game here at the Scott Tournament of Hearts on a Wednesday night. And just a reminder, you can keep yourself up to date on the World Wide Web. All about the Scott, all about the Labatt Briar, the upcoming Ford Worlds. It's all part of the season of champions, scores, standings, player profiles. Our web address, www.tsn.ca slash curling. So when we come back to the Agrodome, as the two teams take their final warm-up slides, it's Nova Scotia and Saskatchewan on TSN.
I think that an economic forecast is more than a number. It's how's the economy going to evolve and how that's going to impact you. Our forecast can really contribute to your retirement planning. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Seeing beyond. Well, if I had money, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd go downtown, buy a Ford truck or two. I'm crazy about a Ford truck. Lord, I'm crazy about a Ford truck. I'm gonna buy me a Ford truck and cruise it up and down the road. I'm gonna buy me a Ford truck and cruise it up and down the road. For the last two years, Canada's best-selling trucks have been Ford trucks. When AT&T Canada started this dime time thing, I said to myself, Dime Boy, you got to be a part of this. Call anyone in Canada any evening, any weekend for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, OK? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. Linda eats the same thing every weekday morning, day after day, week after week. Toast is toast. Now Linda's eating Eggo waffles on weekdays. They're as quick as toast and a delicious change from the everyday. Kellogg's Eggo waffles. Lego, your same old breakfast. Clean. Clean is my business. So when I'm on the road, Super 8's my motel. Clean carpets, clean seats, clean. Clean inside and out. Life's great at Super 8. For sportscaster Max Abbott, Hello. marriage is a whole new ball game. This is the last woman you're ever going to sleep with. This is a nightmare. You're getting married. Mm -hmm. Kissing a fool. I give it a month. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. The Best of the Golf World comes to you each week. Join us for insights and interviews with the top names in golf on Acura World of Golf on TSN. The 1998 Scott Tournament of Hearts from Regina, Saskatchewan on TSN is brought to you by Scott Towels, always thirsty for more. Well, that's a record-setting Scott Tournament of Hearts. They've topped 89,000 on their way to what they think will be 130,000 when it's all said and done on Sunday. But the weather's changing, which means, oh my, the poor ice makers are going to have to work overtime, and our featured game is on sheet B. Let's find out what the ice might do. Here's Ray, brought to you by Star Choice. Well, Victor, it's been a tough job because it's been tricky, and the ice makers have really been working hard to try and get it consistent. But let's look at the curl, first of all. And don't hold me at my word because it changes as we go through, but about three feet around the center and around the corner guards, about three feet as well. It's been hard up till now to get the rock into this 12-foot area, so you've got to play your corner guards over in this area. There's no question that the frost is going to creep in. Now, this afternoon, we saw some fudging, but oddly enough, Linda, it was in this area here in the center area. In other words, the rocks coming off the frost into this area, it was a much different time, and some of the brushers got caught. So the brushing judgment will be key, especially as the rock comes off and breaks. Very important. The skip is Kathy Travel, Saskatchewan playing Yellowstones. Let's meet the two teams. Heather Hopkins throws the lead for Nova Scotia. Carrie Lynn Schakowsky for Saskatchewan. Lisa McLeod and Karen Daku are the seconds. The thirds, Angie Bryant and Christy Lewis. And the Nova Scotia skip out of the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax, Mary Matatall, and from the Cali Club here in Regina, Saskatchewan's Kathy Trowell. Nova Scotia to play the Redstones. They do have the hammer in this first end of play. And to get things going in this all-important game with both these teams sitting at four and four, the Saskatchewan lead is Carrie Lynn Schakowsky. Well, I was talking about Mary Matatol and the fact that I've been very impressed with some of her shot Raise making, some of the late end shot making, which is the sign of a person that can handle the pressure. Oh, I call it the tummy foot. test. If it feels okay in your tummy okay. and you're not too anxious about throwing the shot, whether you're lead second, third or skip, 
you're ready to handle the pressure. And as I said, you've got to face this as a positive. You're in the playoffs right now. Four losses are in the playoffs. You're playing on TV, which means you're in contention. This is a great time to take opportunity and win those games. Well, I don't think there's any question that Mary's a capable thrower and a capable curler. And you're right, it looks like she can throw it last. But she does confuse me, Linda. I, I mean, not, this is not to be critical. I'm just telling you, I sometimes can't follow her patterns. And, and she seems to, this afternoon, for example, she decided to play the ninth end of a game defensively. And so she ran off a of front rock and the opposition hit and rolled out. And then, so I just assumed, or we assumed that she would run off the other front rock, but then she went around it. So if you're gonna go around the, the second one, why didn't you go around the first one? I mean, go around the first time. So just little things that I, that have been a little confusing. And, and uh, I don't question the fact that she can't throw it because she can. She's a Canadian mixed champion this year and she's been around a long time. She's been to a number of Scott Turnbull Hearts. We'd see she's a wonderful person. But she's got a, you know, she's she's here with a pretty strong team. They seem to be playing pretty well. It's a chance tonight. She's four and four. Wait she's playing line. a good team, a uh, team that's at the Scott for the first time. So Come she's on, got right that up. experience advantage. Right this up. is the time for right Mary Come to stand on. up and right be counted. Up. Right up, Marianne. Come on, you can take it right in. You take it right in. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's good. Yeah, just um. Other games on the ice, two teams at uh, five losses. Lois Fowler, Brandon, Tammy Lowther, Charlottetown. That could be a crushing loss. Team Canada tries to rebound after losing their third. And New Brunswick will try and bring British Columbia back, while Sue Garvey, of course, will try to stay at four and in contention. And there you see the buys belonging to the first two teams, first and second place teams, Alberta, Ontario. Well, oddly enough, you know, you, you take, you even look over no, at the Manitoba no, game no. with uh, five losses. That's that's a key game. You, you betcha. You know, to stay there. That's absolutely. right. Six, six is going to be probably well it, out, outside. Sick. If six if six qualifies, then we're starting the round robin over. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll just we'll be here until <laughs> next two weeks. Sunday. That's right. <laughs> the Briar will have to be delayed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, but interesting matchup still, of course. Saskatchewan has played the front runners. They have played Ontario, Alberta, and Team Canada. Nova Scotia still has Alberta to play, but Saskatchewan still has BC to play. So we've got all the teams at four yeah. and four still meeting now. Obviously, if one team wins both of those games, you're still sitting at four losses. If not, all the five loss teams are in it instantly without a, even looking at any more combinations of possibilities. And I can hear it now. This is Ray, Vic, and Linda. 3 a.m. Friday morning <laughs> with the first game of four tiebreakers. <laughs> 24-hour curling network. Yeah, that's right. Actually, after the show this morning, Linda and I were thinking very seriously of the MT network. 24 hours of curling, more turnbull. <laughs> We want you to know, Vic, though, that um, all our motorsport and soccer we will want you to do. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah. There's, there's no interest there, is there? <laughs> Karen Daku. Wide open end. Karen, Kathy Trowell's going to run the front one off. Mary has the hammer. Here's a chance to get around the corner guard. So let's see how this one breaks. Lou, this is a good chance to see. It's in the right area as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, just the edge of the four foot, part of the eight foot. So we should get the curl. I know it was interesting, Ray, you were chatting with the ice makers and they were talking about the airflow patterns and the way the center sheets and the, the centers of the ice are affected by the movement of the players and everything. And I know that Ice making is a science, really, because they know a lot about it, but there's still a lot of unknown factors. Absolutely. And, and that's why we say when we talk about the speed of the ice and the curl of the ice, we can't guarantee you it's going to be this way because there's just a lot of things that can impact on that surface. Certainly get it covered. That's the spot to have it, just a little too deep, but uh, it's buried. I, th I think Kathy Trowell has to be a little bit more uh, precise tonight. You know what I mean? Like just when she thinks that she wants what she wants to do, she has to, you know, stop some of the discussion, I think, and just go right after it and do it, you know? 
It's something we were talking about with Kathy yeah. Bors, that uh, sometimes they have a bit of a chat, but when they finish the chat, Kathy Bors says, this is the broom, this is the weight, this is what I'm playing. And you can tell that the confidence is there, but if you're not really sure, you're not going to make those shots. So on, I agree. On, I think Kathy Trowell has to be the one to finally say, this is exactly what I'm doing, and go and do it. That doesn't mean in any way you don't take input and from all. your team. It just means that uh, you know, we saw that with the shot that Kathy Boris played the other night when uh, the team wanted to go to the open side and spread the rocks out to lie three. She said, no, I'm going behind this guard. Uh, otherwise, she'll come down and take the end away from me, and that's what I'm playing, and that's it, and that's what she did. She got three or four, I can't remember. It was a lot. Nova Scotia with the hammer here in this first. Okay. Angie Bryant. Now, this is a good opportunity, Victor, for no Nova Scotia yet. to get off to, to a very good start. Only if you have to, and nothing. Get, if you can get this uh, rock. Uh, yep, not gonna, come on. not going to bury it for sure. The weight was fine. Okay, that's good. Well, gross. Oh, that didn't move at all. Good throw. Too much ice, you heard uh, Mary say. Now, there's a lot of pressure on this young lady, the uh, third, 23-year-old Christy Lewis, yeah. by her own admission. Uh, she says she's been bothered by the television cameras, just focused on it too much. Has asked this evening that she not wear a microphone, which we readily oh, accept. Easy. We never force anybody, oh, and we no, understand no. the pressure. So for her no. to get off to a good start is a key. Christy no. Lewis. And really, overall, her numbers are not bad, but uh, you can tell that she is one that the pressure sometimes does affect in her performance, and we do understand that it does happen, and every time she steps on the ice, that experience will really help her. Opportunities, we look at them all the time. This is an opportunity for the team from the Mayflower to get up to a good start. Take this turn because that turn, I'm yeah, not. That turns too, too touchy. Okay, can we get the double with the roll? Not really. Play the double, okay? Yeah. Okay. The double is number one. If you get the roll, that's a bonus. She's thinking here. Yeah. I don't know if you would get the roll if you made the double, but uh, the double is definitely okay. the first shot. Pretty good. Sure, not going the other way. That's a good comment. I'm not playing the other turn, she said. I'm playing this turn. Straight back, catch them both, get them out. No, it'll jam and it'll be shot stone. Nova Scotia back eight. That's hard luck to a hunting dog because <laughs> she threw that well. That's a good chance, as you said, for Nova Scotia. And if they can get a roll, leave them maybe half open. A corner, open, corner behind the yellow one on the left. I'd just like to flop on this side, sort of like in the hole of those two. Yeah. Okay, just control. Kathy Borst is the top skip, shooting 80%. And the rest of the skips are in the 70% range. There isn't a lot between them. Yep. It was good sweeping good because rushing. it did start to curl and they were worried about the jam. Heather Hopkins and Lisa McLeod. I don't think it was going Let's update the game between Newfoundland and Team Canada oh. as they play the first Newfoundland. Just try to double, hey? Heather Strong out of the St. John's hey. Curling Club. She has the hammer, final stone, and facing two funny. yellows. One at the back four, one at the back eight. Finds the hole. Up on top and sits right there for shot 
So good start for the young first time skip from St. John's Newfoundland. Heather Strong. Well, this is great experience for her, Vic, you know, to, at that age yeah. to get here. Don't and, jump it too early. And once you come to I one of these events, like whether it be right? Briar or Scott, Actually, that's you want to go back, don't you, Linda? You want to get back. You sure do. And you understand we very well what it, it takes way. to get back. You know what you have to do to beat the other people that are there. You know, even if she gets a hit and roll in front of the stone that's in the back of the eight foot, she won't be second shot, but she'll make the draw very difficult. Get them both. Great. Great. Astro, Astro Kathy Trowell will light up the anchor dome with that. That was a good line call, too. That wasn't an easy double, having to cross the stone to make it. No, this is a, this is a hard one to come across the face to call it. And Christy made a good call on it, in good position to brush. Wasn't sure which one to go to, but <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter. They were all, they were both flying. Lovely shot. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Draw here? Yeah, I, I like it. Would you consider hitting and rolling on this? Oh, yeah, sure you oh, could. Sure. sure you could, yeah. Down the hatch, Mark, The worst Angie. thing you would give up Can't maybe one room. if you didn't quite make it perfectly. A little more. There. They have a 15-minute practice session. She feels she knows her weight. Full 12 is what she needs, so it's... This yeah. belongs to the brushers right now. Eight Anywhere five. in the paint Gotta with go. Heather Hopkins and Lisa five. McLeod. What are we looking for here, Linda? Well, we talk about 13 and a half to 14, probably closer to 13 and a half at the start of the game. It looks close. It's a good sign. Very nice. Because if you can't draw, shot, you can't skip. And Manitol is the skip. She puts it on the lid, and the brushers know as well they can help her out and get it there if they need to. So Manitol and Nova Scotia open with a single. Saskatchewan to have the hammer when we come back. Good. Yeah. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to TSN Tonight. I'm Darren Detition. The National Hockey League is back in action. Nine games on the slate tonight, including the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres. Now, the last time these two teams met, the Sabres beat them by a score of 4-1 to one in January. And prior to the game, Dominic Hasek, the Czech hero, is awarded his gold medal. Very touching moment for Hasek, who was then set to go out and stone the buds just like he did every other team at the Olympics. The dominator was sharp early on, and so were the Sabres offensively. Jeff Sanderson give and go with Donald Odette. Sanderson's first shift with Buffalo. That makes it one to nothing. Are the Leafs back? You'd better believe it. A buck 22 into the hockey game. The Sabres get on the board. They still lead it by a count of one to nothing. Meanwhile, the Penguins lead the Habs by a score of one to nothing. Robert Long with the go-ahead goal in that game. He also played for the Czech Republic. We'll see you in about an hour. A newborn cannot tell me what's wrong. These can for monitoring electrodes. They have got to keep working. One, the need. Ensure that vital signs are always known. Two, the innovation. An electrode so dependable to keep sending signals even when a baby fusses. That's 3M innovation. I know when she's in danger and when she's just asking to be held. We make a difference in the world because we make the leap from need to innovation. 3M innovation. Since 1982, Scott Paper has been the proud sponsor of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. That's right, Gavin. Scott Towels has been there for the spills of victory. And Scotty's was there for the disappointments of defeat. Oh, that was a tough loss. Here's Sandra Schmerler and the Scott product team practicing their winning form. What? What? what great action. That Scott team really delivers. That was great. As always, the Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by this family of fine Scott Paper products. 
I'll be back on Tuesday. The number's on the fridge. I color-coded all your meals so you won't be confused. The blue one is a beef dish. B is for beef. The pink one's a pork dish. P is for pork. You get the idea. The green one is for vegetables. It should be violet for vegetables. But I thought you might see violet but think purple and interpret pork, which would defeat the whole purpose of convenient color-coding altogether. Four minutes on high. Stir halfway. Bye, guys. So what do you guys want for dinner, blue or pink? Did somebody say McDonald's? I hope Mom color-coded breakfast, too. Forced to make a draw with her last stone in the first, yeah. Mary Manitow. Well, then this is a great sign because it's exactly what you talked about in your opening comments. Well, we were talking about the stomach and whether or not you can make the last shot, and we talk about mechanics. Mary Manitow has wonderful mechanics, but you have to be ready to step in the hack, ignore the fact that those are yellow stones in the house, and throw the weight to the broom. She did it, put it right on the button for the first end, first point. Great start to the game. Here at the Agrodome. In draw 14, Manitoba Lois Fowler holds on to Hammer against Tammy Lowther after a blank. Newfoundland, we showed you the nice shot by Heather Strong. And Sue Garvey maintains control of the Hammer against Kathy Floyd as they play the second. As we go to the second, Saskatchewan with the Hammer. Control! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, as you mentioned in your opening comments, you know, you have to want to and you have to like to and be able to handle the pressures of throwing the last rock. And that was a good sign. You're absolutely right, Linda. You know, she got on the hack. She decided, yeah, I could have hit, she said, but let's draw. She has the 15-minute practice session. She knew draw weight. She put the broom down. She put it the, on the lid. Hey, that's a great sign. Here Kathy Trowell okay. made a wonderful double to get herself out of a situation where she may have had two scored on her. And you don't like to start that way. Nobody does. Carrie Lynn Schakowsky. In the TV games we've seen, we've told you already that Saskatchewan have not won, but what's also happened is the teams they've been playing have taken the crowd out of it right away. And, uh, you know, that double got the crowd into it. Now they're going to be looking for more. If that builds, if, you know, Saskatchewan and Trowell can get right something up, right going, up, that's something no, that um, Matatol has to deal with as well. Just come out of here for Car um, guard was thrown, and, and uh, Mary's going to defend against it by going around it. Now the key to this is not to break one of Linda's laws. And that is do not go behind the T-line. Keep it in front of the T-line. Try and tuck it. You can see the sweepers with the stopwatches doing that touchdown or back line to first Nothing hog line to see what the weight is. The problem is it's also not curling. I'll leave it top post, guys. Not well, you can see where she held the broom. The, the, the thrower okay, must have got stop, uh, yeah. gotten it wide for sure. Good way, Lisa. And Lisa must have got it out there wide. Hit and rolls can win games. is ranking within their position. Please. Karen on the Saskatchewan team is ranked the highest. Whoa, whoa, She's fourth whoa. amongst the seconds. No, okay. That's good. This way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. Now you could make a decision here if you're Saskatchewan, if you want to hit that or if you want to use the corner guard. And the one question we're not sure about is can you get behind the corner guard? We suggested perhaps to put it no. a little bit wider than where it no, is no, no. in the reading the ice segment. Yeah, a little bit wider, not too much though. I, I think that uh, you threw the corner up and you really have a big little rule too that uh, really big yeah you know what there's no point putting it there if you're not going to use it so you put it there so I would have ignored that 12 no. that 12 foot no, stone and gone one. around that corner guard but because that's why I put the guard there and I agree I didn't expect you to miss that. 
Each of these players is very aware of the stones. They match them before the game, and you could see that they were swapping Angie's stone, and I think they might feel one curls a little bit more, and if that's the case, they'll Line's try good. and use it here. Line only, Line. wait only. No, All nothing. kinds of room. It's gotta get to center before it curls. Whoa. No, right off. Whoa, right up. Yeah. No, leave it high, as high as it'll go. Hopefully, just... Okay. Nice shot. Is there just, just a lack of curl away. there, or was it just the way the stone was thrown, do you think? It sort of looked, uh, no, it sort of looked that way that with that one, but we'll watch that track again. Angie Bryant as we play here in the second. We're hearing that a lot, Ray, go the other way. That means they've Hooray! set the rock down, and whether they were a little bit girls. outside or not, it's not moving enough to get the roll behind the guard, so they're trying to roll it away. Come on, do this. Okay. Peeking into the game between Manitoba and Prince Edward Island as they play the second. Manitoba's lowest fowler. Managed to blank the first to control the hammer. This is her final stone against Prince Edward Island and Tammy Lowther. Throwing against three, two biters and one top four. Whoa, 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 we're going across. Okay, it's fine, good throw. To sit top eight for one, Manitoba's on the board. Both those teams at five losses, Manitoba and PEI. Trying to get the hit. This is the rock they're trying to get behind. Roll it over here. Her latest championship coming, of course. Yep, hard, 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 hard. Yep. A few weeks ago in yeah, Owen Sound, whoa, whoa, Sound whoa. Ontario. With Steve Close. Ogden. Yep. No. AT and yes. Canada mix. No. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shot. Nice shot indeed. You could tell they were on and off, yeah, and darn. kept thinking he would move up at the end. There. Yeah, Mary thought that it was going to make Good line a move. Call, Ange. I jumped the gun on that. Sorry. All right. Shoot. Threw it well. Yeah, just, uh... Did you think you were tight? No, I thought I might have turned it just a tad. I thought it was the little wave was down, but not yeah, really. can get a nice inside on this. I'm just going to give you control weight. I don't think we're going to get... I can see all of this stone. to get the little flip back. Love to get by. Will she jam it, though? Mm -hmm. That's oh, wow. a, a bit of a bonus. Spills in on the other side. I just didn't get out there. Get out there. That's what I thought. Just a little tick in the perfect angle. So I don't think I turned it. I just didn't no, quite just get didn't, out. Didn't so then it still out. went pretty straight, though, like if to, for the read. 
Yeah, you win some of those and you lose some of those. I would think they even out through a course of a, a season. Just control. You don't remember the ones that work for you. You only remember <laughs> the ones that work against you. Yeah. Hopkins, McLeod. Shot. To sit oh, there. there. The in, that inside out shot definitely is, way, eh? is uh, more, you know, they're throwing, everybody's throwing a little bit more of it. And we talked about this earlier in the week, and it's just, it, it, you can trust it a little bit, you know, and you can also make a little error on the release. And you're playing the outside in yeah, on those uh, down that, uh, uh, that frost line or close to that frost line. Boy, you, you just, there's no room for error, you know. I felt sorry for that Sanders' murder today as she threw one down the line and it, she expected it to run straight, remember, and it, it cut big time, and she, she felt she let it go pretty well, but she had no choice, by the way. She had to play that turn, but. Facing two with her final stone, Kathy Trowell. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Looking to tie things here in the second. That's, uh, that's that shot that's oh, wow. unforgiving, that shot out there. Good shot. And we'll sit. Four shot, top 12 and one for Saskatchewan. But you're right, everybody sort of holds their breath. Mm. Nova Scotia has the hammer back. It's the 98th Scott Tournament of Hearts from Regina. And he thinks he saved a bundle on the move. Yeah, right. Ugh. Next time I'm calling Allied. Thank you, Canada, for making Allied the biggest and best in the country. Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia, connecting people. Thursday, the NHL's best are back on TSN. Catch an original six matchup between the Leafs and the Rangers. And best of all, there's no time change. Molson NHL Tonight. Check it out on TSN. Updating the game between British Columbia and New Brunswick. They blank the first. It's Sue Garvey from Kamloops at 4-4. Four four. Final stone. Second end against New Brunswick's Kathy Floyd at 3-5. Hit and stick for a pair. Floyd from the Thistle St. Andrews in St. John has the hammer playing the third here at the Agridome and this 14th draw on a Wednesday night. As you get caught up on your favorites, the four buys belong to 
Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, and the Yukon Northwest Territories. As we begin play here in the third of a 1-1 tie, Nova Scotia with the hammer. Hey, hey, hurry, right up, right up hard, right up, right up. Your way, Christy, your way. Good job, that's good. Now that Nova Scotia stone was uh, attempting to be put out in front when it slipped in, it could be hit. Saskatchewan has the two now in the house. You know, that's a good example of how drastically it changes this then. Uh, Mary, uh, you know, with the hammer says, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get on the offense. Let's get going. The first rock was thrown in the rings. Mary ignored it. She asked for the corner guard. The corner guard slips in the, into the rings. Now it could be hit. Now you're looking at two. And Heather, during the week, Regular, is the yep. number one lead. So that's not something we no. see her do very often. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no roll. Nice shot, Heather. Karen Daku, the Saskatchewan Queen. second. Lisa McLeod has been impressed with my visits to the RCMP because she is a Mountie in Sackville. And uh, yeah, she yeah, met Lord, her husband, Lord. who's also a Mountie, here when she was training uh, back in 1991. Hmm. All the way, all the way, all the way. As I suggested, though, you wouldn't be that popular okay. if they'd seen you no. drive. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we did drive over this morning, though, while you were resting with an individual <laughs> that I think that you could uh, lock you horns with. Did you put it up on two wheels like I do? Well, uh, it was uh, six minutes, seven seconds to get here, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> two minutes slower than you. <laughs> Victor attacks the car, doesn't he? It's in the car. He's like that goofy cartoon, you know? He just, <laughs> just, just, just puts his little leather gloves on with the holes in the knuckles. But I have tremendous faith in his oh, driving. Yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Always gets us there Thank safely. You would be silly about things. Fast, but safely. That's right. Karen just okay, going to spread good. these out. Good way, Karen. Kathy, I should say. the weight up yeah, it's yeah. running straight it's not look at, like this one look at that you can just follow it down that center line wow it's a lonely feeling isn't it why it's important for your teammates to go over. You'll notice after a miss quite often, your teammates will go over and even if you just stand beside them saying, well, you know I do it too. We all do it. My okay, teammates used to come over and say, nice yes, shot. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, come on, come on. You gotta keep it coming, come on, come on. Right up, come on, come on, it's gotta cut more. Come on, it's gotta cut more, it's gotta cut more. Cut more, good job. Good sweep, guys. You can play the straight on double. I don't mind this. We're here to here. You can hit this one here okay. and roll over like she says. You could play this no, one here. No, not really. Okay, there. Control. It's funny. It's, it's funny how people think. I, I I think I would play the nose double back, just to keep the yep. forefoot open. Free. And then it also leaves your stone. As something to use, Bob, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, even if you jam it, yours is there. Now this one, Mary's trying to get a roll in front of Shot Rock, thinking that maybe Saskatchewan would be the one to make the mistake, but uh, I think I would have gone after the other one as well. We got a 
play this. I don't mind a nose even. Nose is good, or even if you roll out. I like the nose there. Yeah, nose is a good shot. Christy Lewis. Yep. Yep. Three. Out of her hand, Shikowski Hurry, guys, Daku. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, guys. Hurry, right up, right up. Right on the nose right up, is what right she up, wants. Right up, right up, right up, right up, right up. Sit. Okay, that kind of slide it over. That's okay. She couldn't get in there anyways. Let's get through. Yeah. NHL is back in action beginning this evening, and you'll Regular see the NHL Andy. tonight, Thursday at 7.30. The Rangers and the Maple Leafs. Actually, this might not be bad. Did it bite? I don't think so. Chance for another guard. Now, that's, one of the things that's been you, tough. Yeah, it took a long time to come. But yeah. yours always take a little longer than mine, yeah. so. I, feel, I think it's like four and a quarter. Four it's been eight. difficult to place yeah, the yeah, guards. Quarter, okay, quarter. so I just want right here. Since a lot of the stones Tight, do good. their finishing at the end, the last few feet, and of course those last few feet for rock and the forefoot is in the house. So if you don't get the guard to you can't leave it long. Even tighten the ice Tight's on the guard, good. you're not going to be protecting that stone in the house. Four to T, you don't think it's over that? Don't think it's sliding? Well, I think you guys are power sweepers, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not yeah. Not sure the sweepers want to be thinking that uh, they have to do a whole lot of sweeping. Yeah. It's been a it's, it's been a long week already. Here, but mine will go a little bit, like mine will bend a little bit more in Christie's will. Is that the stones or the delivery that gives uh, Kathy Trow a little bit more action? On Usually they're referring to the releases. Yeah. Mine's good. Mine's good. Mine's good. Mine's good. Unless they found a particular stone, you know, as you suggest. But. Whoa, whoa. No, I think that is the delivery. Yeah. Uh, you know, my outturn runs straighter than uh, my team uh, mates, and uh, we know what I, I, I throw a little inside out and too tight. But you could have seen that if it would have stopped, it would have been the perfect path. It's not right in yeah. front of that right stone. Yep. Yeah. Chance maybe now for Nova Scotia to get out of this. Control the hammer. Got to hit it this side, eh, guys? Center. Wherever the broom is. Throw. Yeah, no, it'll turn regular. Wait for the second call, because it backs off here. I know. I suppose you've all looked at it, eh? Regular weight. Close. Yep. 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 Hurry. Hopkins. McLeod. Hurry. Got them both. Yeah, she's throwing very well this week. She knew exactly where to put the broom. I think she threw it very well. That was good and accurate. There you go, good and accurate. That's what you like to hear from your skip. Just eyes on the broom and let it go. Oh, we can see his new replay. <laughs> it was a good call, too, because it started to make its break. They caught it early enough. And you're waiting for that stone to cross that T line so that you can get the broom on it when you're the third. Guys. Like, uh, I'll throw regular. Okay. So Just give me a little more and may back off there. Yeah. Roll out there. Blank. 
You're gonna throw regular, eh? That was Peel. Your way, Heather. I'm gonna roll it your way, okay? I'll try to, anyway. I won't throw that weight, no. but regular to get the roll. It's, it's like very tight ice to yeah. plank. Yeah, it is. And we know yeah, it doesn't curl first. much there with that outside in shot, but we wouldn't be cutting this weight too much. Final stone, Mary yeah, Matatone, yeah, Nova Scotia yeah, yeah, here in the third of a 1-1 tie. Oh, no. Oh, sweep it out, Heather. It's not going. No, it's not going. It's going to stop. <laughs> nice roll. For one for Nova Scotia here in the third. They've this traded singles so far. Saskatchewan wow. gets the hammer yeah, back, well, back in the well. fourth. Since 1982, Scott Paper has been the proud sponsor of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. That's right, Gavin. Scott Towels has been there for the spills of victory. And Scotty's was there for the disappointments of defeat. Oh, that was a tough loss. Here's Sandra Schmerler and the Scott product team practicing their winning form. What? What? what great action. That Scott team really delivers. That was great. As always, the Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by this family of fine Scott Paper products. Next. Another case of boredom twitch syndrome. Nothing relieves boredom twitch syndrome like Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of movies, sports, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. <laughs> Honey, our favorite movie! Oh, thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. Your car is a high-precision instrument. Take it to AutoPro. With qualified personnel and state-of-the-art equipment, it's the expert on brakes, front-wheel drive, steering, suspension, and mufflers. All protected by AutoPro's national warranty. AutoPro, the largest network of car care professionals. Started with a pair of boots. Kodiak boots, actually. And it just grew from there. It grew from boots to shoes. From shoes to clothing. Everything to dress you up or dress you down. Oops, not that far down. You could say that wearing Kodiaks has taken on a whole new meaning. Since the Hendrick Racing Team started using Quaker State, they finished 1-2 in the 96 Winston Cup standings. Finished 1-2-3 this year at Daytona. And they've won at Rockingham, Bristol, Martinsville, and Charlotte. Which makes you wonder, is it in their blood or in their engines? Quaker State. The quality the Hendrick Racing Team demands. The quality your car deserves. Updating Manitoba PEI as they play in the third, 1-0. Manitoba final stone, Tammy Lowther. She's facing a couple. One edge of the four, one edge of the 12, and she'll sit right there for a single. Manitoba, Lois Fowler from Brandon. Lowther from the Charlottetown Curling Club. Newfoundland and Team Canada as they play in the third, 2-1, Sandra Schmerler. Leading, final stone, Heather Strong. With a record of two and six, will score a couple. And is up now three, two on the defending Canadian world and Olympic gold medal winners. As we get you caught up here in draw 14. To the fourth we go. 2-1 Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan with the hammer. We have two stones in the three guard zone. The first one thrown up short. And the next one on the uh, come around attempt, short was okay and that's where it ends up. And so Heather will try and tap it up. 
We saw last end uh, one of Heather's guard attempts slid in, and those numbers are not what easy, we're used to seeing. Easy, as said, she came in as the number one lead at 87 percent. No, girls. Yep, come around it. We got a wick, I think. Yeah, she's heavy. Now that it was actually communication, though, because the. They probably should have let it curl a little bit more and see if they could have kept it on on the side after it ticked. Yeah, just control. Terry Lynn Shikowski. Whoa, no. It seems to be a very straight spot after watching Heather's tap attempt go so straight in that takeout as well. And so we go from two guards, neither of which can be removed, to a couple of come around attempts to now the guards being taken off. Numbers, I think that Clean. both Karen Clean. Daknew and Lisa McLeod would not be whoa, satisfied whoa, whoa. with. Well, early development just uh, you know, just changed everything, so they just both just decided to play it pretty defensively uh, after we got through a few rocks. So nothing in front, nothing in the rings. Very big game for both teams. Keep yourself alive. matter at this stage no I don't think if it, even if it's a nose hit that anybody's going Whoa. to leave it sitting there no. it's not going to end up being no. a guard you can use no. at this stage no 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 this forward email from Cheryl Burns and Courtney BC. How about a mixed Team Canada consisting of Ray Linovic and Sandra Schmuller? <laughs> you think Sandra would have? Yeah, the she three wouldn't of us? have the three of us in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to blow her reputation. But we'd love it. Yep, yep. We'd love it. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Is there any yes. way that uh, we can each just throw one and she can throw the, oh, rest, the rest as well? Sit in time. That'll spin out the back. Are you a little surprised? I mean, there was a there was a centerline guard up. I know it's Nova Scotia's, but you've got your Saskatchewan. You've got the hammer. You're only playing second stones. Why not go? Why not? You you've still got plenty of time. It's not like you're playing the last or third stones. I realize well, it's no. The, the only explanation for not going is that she she didn't want to play do the offensive moves in the center. That's all. She, she just decided that she's gonna. You know, if I'm going to play uh, offensively with the, with the last rock, which she's going to do eventually, I want to play it on the side. So I think she actually called a corner guard here. Did she not, or is she playing this one in? Tight's good. I think she called it tight. Tight's good. Yeah. The problem with tight, if you're going to make an offensive move, I think 
you have to throw up a halfway guard because anything tight they're just hitting. Yeah. So tight is the same the as in at this stage. Yeah. And it's too late. You're too far along to be throwing a corner up. Anyways. Exactly. But even the teams with five losses can feel the fact that they, you know, they, everybody looks at the draw yeah, and you know yeah, they can hi. see that. Uh, you know, BC has right to play. Uh, I think they have to play. Did you say they have to play right Saskatchewan? That's right. And, yeah, so it's. Uh, that's good. Clean. Lots of things can happen. That's that's better weight, isn't it? Good. Set a turn. Okay. Keep your weight. Just control weight. Saskatchewan's last game was against the Territories, and Saskatchewan did win that convincingly, 10-3. to That was in draw 12. Prior to that, they had three losses. So they finally turned it around, and it's a good time to do it, that's for sure. They'll go around it right away. Well, I know. I was thinking to go around it, but, you know, how long do you wait for the chance? Make your own. No, we're feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah, how long do you wait? Well, she, she makes a pretty good point. They, they, they've had a couple slaps, a couple cuffs. And uh, <clears throat> I, I think that she's just trying to keep her flow going a little bit until a time where they really feel that they, you know, they know, they know the game well enough. It's just that they've had, and they've had, t you know, not much success, as you mentioned in your opening comments on television, so. Chrissy Lewis, the yeah. third. Linda seems to be a little bit more comfortable tonight, so. They look very relaxed. Uh, we have noticed, though, that Kathy is very composed. And she made a lovely double takeout in the first end. Got the team so off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> Go from swinging this afternoon to. Well, at least the curlers are noticing the same thing we are, right? That yeah. the ice is changeable, Just and it's yeah. not even it's, necessarily. Yeah. The same now from morning to afternoon to yeah, evening that we saw it. earlier in the week. It seems to be changing differently at different times of the day. You don't suppose that David and Lloyd are doing that just to, <laughs> just mix to me up in my us. reading the ice thing? Uh, yeah. Never know. Clean. No, it really has been, uh, you know, uh, controlling the, the airflow in here has been difficult. So that, uh, you know, we, you talked to no, Kathy Borch today, and she was saying that, uh, you know, as it got, as the stones got to the, and we saw two Good. or three people caught on yeah, the draws that looked like you know, Joan and Marcia yeah. Gooderide make very few mistakes when it comes to judging the brushing. And they didn't brush Sanders last stone in the end where they stole four on her and until about uh, it got to the hog yeah, line. They felt they had lots of it and just Proper. coming across the hog line, it dug right in. And the one nice thing, there is no air conditioning in the building and that is a problem. You see a full house. The one nice thing is there also isn't anything pushing the heat down. So the airflow that is happening is rather random. That is part of the problem, though, as well. You're not having heat pushed down and causing problems on yeah. the entire ice surface, but somehow the airflow was randomly affecting the sheets. And that's why we're saying from sheet to sheet, from different sections of the ice, we're not sure exactly what it's going to do. Yeah, if you're closer to the stands, you're getting some of that side, uh, side closer to the stands, getting a little more affected with the warm air coming down. And Pointed it yeah. up tight, hard. Hard all the way. Hooray! Hard! Mary Manitol here in four. Final stone. Not much, not much to choose between the two skips so far, Manitol and Trowell. We're going to put up the corner, but we're not going to put it up if she comes in the house, okay? And that last takeout stayed outside, so it's a throw through blank, but they'll have a look at the piece of ice. So 
runs down the edge of the forefoot for the blank here in the fourth. So it remains Nova Scotia 2, Saskatchewan 1. And the team from the Cali and Regina holds on to the hammer on TSN. McCain brings you the freshest tasting frozen pizza ever made. McCain Pizza Premier in the unique vacuum packed flavor lock package that seals air out so it stays fresher tasting longer. It cooks in just half the time and has a tender no mess rim. So whenever you're ready for pizza, McCain Pizza Premier is ready for you in fresh tasting deli lovers, pepperoni and deluxe. McCain Pizza Premier, we've got a lock on fresh taste. You're in room 1056. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. This way, don't Hey! You got my notebook! Excuse me! I... I... Toshiba, <laughs> toughen up for today's world. Call 1-800-387-5645. It's the way we welcome the sun, with 35 Sunblock. The way some of the best water now mostly comes in bottles. It's the way we make time for exercise and like to enjoy reading. Today, more and more people are finding reasons to take better care of themselves. That's why Subway offers seven subs, each under six grams of fat. Because when you're through surfing, you might want to go for a swim. Subway, it's the way a sandwich should be. Introducing eight hours of fever relief. New Children's Advil. A tough cold isn't just up here. Your sinuses are congested too. That's why there's Advil cold and sinus for congestion. It's tough on colds like Advil is on pain. And now it's available without a prescription. Advil cold and sinus. Today's relief for tough colds. Welcome back to the Agrodome and TSN's continuing coverage of this 98 Scott Tournament of Hearts as we quickly check in on the game between British Columbia and New Brunswick as they play the fourth. British Columbia is lying first shot. It's right on the pin. And then there's the yellow New Brunswick stone just in front of it. Kathy Floyd just drew that one into position, and Sue is trying to spill it out to get her two. Sue Garvey and her BC champions from the Kamloops Curling Club at four and four. Move it far enough to get two. No, they'll get one. That's the Blue Stone sitting top four, so one for British Columbia. And a 3 2 lead over Kathy Floyd at three and five. Newfoundland and Team Canada as they play the fourth. Three to two, Newfoundland leading. Sandra Schmerler from the Cali here in Regina. Team Canada at five and three coming in. Her final stone, the hit and the stick for one, two, three for Team Canada. And a 5 3 lead for Heather Strong from the St. John's Curling Club as we return to our no, featured no, game. No, no, here in this 14th draw, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, 2-1 Nova Scotia leading, and Saskatchewan with the hammer. Great way, Heather. That's good. And it looks like Kathy's trying to hit this one and roll over for a corner. Yeah. Yep. Hurry. Quick. Hurry. Quick. Hurry hard. Hurry hard. Right up. Well, maybe right trying up. the double, actually. Right up. You see right the up. angle? Atta girl. That is where you have to decide. That stone in the back of the 12 foot to me is not a problem. I would consider that one you maybe could use later. And if you just sat there as a corner guard, you could have maybe come around it. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, well, that's good, girls. Got it, girl. Nice shot. Just control, Wade's good. A live update for you, Manitoba, Prince Edward Island, as they play the fourth. This is the final stone of Brandon's Lois Fowler trying a long she double raise, is she? she? Double raise. I thought she might be able to play the outside one. Because there's a yellow stone that belongs to PEI surrounded by red rocks as it comes into view here. Now, are they going to get it through plan B far enough in? Yes, Look at that. They do. My goodness. How did. That is. Unbelievable. <laughs> we say some nights you just need those and everything works. I'm not sure that was the plan, but those are the alternates. In turn, come around the center guard. Saskatchewan hit it uh, right on the nose, so. Mary Matatol will play the intern, come around to try and lie too. Tough part about these shots, you're drawing come around the opponent's round. stone. It's hard Here to cut it too hard. tight, but you don't Hurry. want to leave it open. Oh, took the turn. Hard, hard. Hurry, guys. Oh, you got to buy. Come on. Great sweeping. Oh, oh, great sweeping. Terrific come around. Mary had actually given up on it. I think she thought it was on the guard. She did. She yeah. thought it had caught a little spot Yay! that was curling. Hurry! So Karen and her hurry! team are going to try hurry! the run back. Hurry! 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 Whoa! Whoa! It was a good looking shot. What a girl. to stay in the house. That means Angie Whoa! has to go after it. Now she had very quiet weight That's and that thing too. I think it's going to hang on still actually the stone. Backed off. Good yeah it, it did look like it really straightened anyways. Yeah. It was over it was over far enough that uh, Got right in that frost and just uh, ran straight down there. Maybe even as you heard Mary say, it backed off a little bit and it just straightened right out. And the crowd doing the wave. Like waves yes, of grain yes. on the Saskatchewan field. Yes. Hurry, Record crowds this week hurry, here in Regina. Hurry, 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 Christy hurry, Lewis. Hurry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good shot by Christy. Good job. It's been a fabulous week. We've talked about the huge crowds, attendance records, the wonderful committee. It's uh, it's just been a terrific week for us, and it's nowhere near over. A lot more curling yep, to come. Yep. Hurry. Right up. Hard girls, hurry. Could be a long hurry. Friday. All Angie way. Bryant. Whoa. Skip stones now in this fifth of a game which has really gone up and down. Just a three singles through the first three, the blank and four. This way. Go this way. 
Chance here for Saskatchewan to get a deuce, though, Vic. Mary Matatal needs a roll behind the center guard with the shot. That's more than control. Wait's up, Angie. No, right off. Come on. Got just enough to push it out the back. That was control. Got to go just top, top four. Ford plus. email from Mark oh, Snook in Toronto. Yeah, well, Which skip is the all-time leader at the Scott Tournament of Hearts? All-time leader wins. Mm. Yeah, but yes, I still wow. think that was center. I, I think, yeah, oh, I and Swiss so wins. So, so Colleen Jones. Center. Yeah, that wouldn't be surprising. We can't be wide open. Colleen, you know, I think Sue Ann Bartlett from Newfoundland. Sue Ann, of course, was uh, is playing seniors and was this year's Newfoundland senior champion. Connie Laliberti. Of course, Heidi Hanlon uh, lost the final like of the province this year to former teammate Kathy Floyd. Well, I don't know because there's there's falling down is and Mary crashed too, so I don't know. And then we skip. moved it over. That's the same ice I gave you, and we crashed on the center. We're right on the edge of the dish, but if it moves, it'll move hard. So I think. I wonder if I should cut it though a little bit because if I wick and go over, it's not a bad thing. Put it near old, old point. Well, no, not if I wick and move over. She's got a long, long roll to go, right? I can't be I can't be wide open so that she can hit and yeah. You know, Christy, just tuck that in a little bit. Tuck it in a little bit. A little less ice. So it's like, feels like a four, but not a four and a half. A four and a half with a hard sweep would be top 14 seconds okay. between the hog line they're talking about. Close, the front end says Kowski, Daku. Yep, 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 come on. Hurry. Hurry. Right up. Line's great. Right up. Right up. Come on. Whoa, in front of the it's team. Good looking shot. Jeez, I'm glad we tucked that. We still had lots. Get this. Kind of that yellow one on the side must be biting. Oh, that's really tough. That's Why would it be tough? Well, there's a frost out there. We saw a shot go out there that actually backed off a little bit. You're, you're over so close to the boards. There's, you know, you're right in the frost. That's what you mean by that. Uh, the other thing she could do I here just is just draw to the face really of this. Guys. That is hard over there, trust me. You know, you could just come down here and just sit intern. anywhere in front of this stone there, like this. Intern or the boards. And make it tougher her to get two. This is a hard hit. She can't see a lot of this. She's, she's playing the takeout here. It's hard to tell from that ice how much weight she's playing it with, too. I see half. Can you see half? It's up to you. You want to give her two? It's gonna get two anyway, because I'm gonna hit and roll in the open. You wanna play that one? Don't wanna give her three. Yeah. It's a long guard. Yeah. Just cut so hard there, I don't it does know. Cut. I don't she, know. she doesn't like the hit over here, but and if you play that hit, really you're just tough, conceding I two. I well, we don't this, get she yeah, says it's tough. open half, I don't no, think so, I think it's Maybe, well, maybe a quarter. Is that a pretty straight line, Vic? Not, Not bad. Okay. You, you, you could come around here, like I mentioned, exactly. and just sit in front of it. Yeah. Just... Our, uh... You'll be out there, Mayor. Yeah, the interesting point she was saying is it doesn't really matter which one you hit. Because I have no read on Angie's on that one. If over you hit there, the I shot just... rock, you can't be buried. You're going to roll it into the open, Back and they're going to have an okay. open hit for two. So. It's sort of chancy to be going after this one when it is partially covered. As opposed to get it by that guard. 
It's a really long the drive. Is to see yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with, with drawing right to following her right down, sitting right on the face of it. And then oh, saying to her, okay, well, if you can get your two by, you got to make the shot, obviously. But even yeah. if you stop anywhere in front of it, you're going to eliminate the the exactly. rock that's just biting the edge of the 12 foot. This is a very risky shot. You heard Mary Matatal say she doesn't want to give her yeah, three. Right. And uh, three. anywhere, in front, that. Yeah, anywhere oh, in front of that stone, hard. though, Vic, and you're not going to give her three. Right. Hopkins, Whoa. McLeod. Back off. Got great Please. line. That looks fine. Yes, 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 shot. yes. Woo. Shot. Yeah. She knew the ice, obviously. Good sweeping, girls. No cleaning. <laughs> Even if you rolled out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good shot. Mm. Good shot. Very nice shot. I just, I, I was thinking, they, you know. Yeah. Like she knew the ice there. exactly. Yeah, she was very confident, the and they the swept it well. So well, with it being in the four foot area Kathy. biting the four foot once it comes to rest that means that kathy trowell has to make a play on it for her second point as opposed to being able to draw of course if they hit the biters kathy would have been drawing but it's still a shot for two yep whoa whoa clean yet final stone here in five, and a chance to take the lead. Kathy Trowell. Saskatchewan. For a pair. Then I got the roll. Yeah, we're playing really. You guys are playing really, really well. So the feeling is a little confidence uh, among this team that hasn't won yet on TV. No, no, I'm no. You know what it does. When AT&T Canada started this dime time thing, I said to myself, dime boy, you got to be a part of this. Call anyone in Canada any evening, any weekend for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, OK? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face? Hey, here comes another one. Come to Papa. Wait, not a Ford Contour. That thing's got more moves than a cat. And it's so quick. What do they think we are, Greyhounds? Come in and test drive the newly restyled 1998 Ford Contour. One drive will surprise you. Hey, you guys up for a little Italian? <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to TSN Tonight. I'm Darren Detitian. Hope you're enjoying the curling. We're going to stay on the ice as the National Hockey League is back. You've got the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Montreal Canadiens going head-to-head -head this evening. The Habs have won their last two meetings against the Pens. And prior to the game, Canadian speed skating medalists were honored. And speaking of speed, just 52 seconds in, Robert Long out of the corner beats Moog. His first shot, it's 1-0. Later, the Habs with a two-man advantage. Brian Savage hits the post. Kevin Hatcher clears it. Stu Barnes steps out of the box. He scoops up the puck. He'll break in. He beats Moog. That makes it two to nothing in favor of Pittsburgh. That is currently the way that one stands. Elsewhere in the National Hockey League, got the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres also doing battle this evening. They are currently tied up at one. We'll see you in about an hour's time. Let's get you back to that curling. Come on, let's go. Have fun. Okay. Hi. Hi. Medium coffee, please. Sit. Oh, and six donuts. Now it's easy to pick up six of your favorite donuts at Tim Hortons. Heal. Heal. We call it the Donut Six Pack. So how'd it go? He's a little slow. Hmm. I got donuts. <laughs> Seems quick enough. The new Donut Six Pack. It's easy to pick up. The two really stands out, doesn't it? Saskatchewan scoring two in the fifth for a 3-2 lead over Nova Scotia as we go to the and take our fifth end break here in draw number 14. 
The 99th Scott Tournament of Hearts will be in Charlottetown, PEI, February 20th through the 28th. There's the number and the web address. Boy, we all know Kim Dolan as a curler, both skip and third, many-time PEI champion. Kim Dolan is the chair of next year's Scott Tournament of Hearts, and she's with Linda. Well, Kim, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. As an organizer of an event, after many times being in it, tell us a little bit about next year's event. Every event has a special flavor, and this year it's been wonderful, lots of crowds. What are you doing to give the flavor of the island next year? Well, next year we have a theme, and uh, it is Come Rock Canada's Cradle. And that means that uh, we are, of course, the Cradle of Confederation, and uh, we're planning on rocking uh, the Civic Centre, the Charlottetown Civic Centre, and bring the maritime flavour right to the Scott Turner of our hearts. We're looking very forward to it. Well, we are too. Now, we've been there a few times, a few different events. Of course, I got to curl there, so I know all about it. Uh, and, of course, it's wonderful. The hospitality's been terrific in past events. Well, I'm uh, just sure that the people that come will have the maritime hospitality, especially the island hospitality. Um, I can't say enough about here, but we're going to put a little maritime flavor, island flavor to it, and we're going to rock the cradle. So you, if you stop curling, have to ask you, you were in the Scott Tournament Hearts so many times. Uh, now, behind the scenes, have you thought about getting back at it next year? Oh, I've thought about it, and uh, that's still, you know, a possibility, and I'll be uh, certainly throwing stones, so we'll see what happens. Could do both roles, on the ice and off. That'll be pretty tough. Oh, well, I don't know about that one, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So thanks very much for joining us, and we really look forward to next year. Thank you. Vic? Nice to see Kim again. Well, our game is in its fifth end break. We want to go quickly to the game between Manitoba and Prince Edward Island. You see Manitoba with the 2-1 lead. Prince Edward Island, Tammy Lowther, who beat Rebecca Jean McPhee and Kim Dolan in the PEI final this year to advance to Regina. Lowther will be throwing her final stone here. And I don't know if she can squeeze out that red stone at the back. But it might be possible, although she's probably coming down and sitting there, hoping to sit there for one. They just might be frozen on top of each other. No, it'll sit right there. So it is one. Betty Cooling taps the Yellowstone. So they're tied 2-2. As they take their fifth end break, Manitoba PEI. Both those teams at five losses. British Columbia and New Brunswick. Final stone for Kathy Floyd. Her team from the Thistle St. Andrews in St. John with a record of three and five. Playing four and four, Sue Garvey from Kamloops. And this is a draw for one, two, possibly three. Three New Brunswick lead as they try and bring that team, British Columbia, with the four losses back to the pack. Five losses still might get you into a tiebreaker this week here in Regina. It's boredom twitch syndrome. You're lucky. There's a new treatment. Got boredom twitch syndrome? Get relief with Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of sports, movies, and entertainment. All with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. Hey! I it's the Ottawa game! <laughs> Thank you. For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. of champions. Champions are made through consistent performance in good times and oh. under pressure. Yeah. On their triumphant return home, SAS Power congratulates the Schmirler team for its gold medal performance in Japan. SAS Power, proud sponsor of world champions.
But enough about the high-performance computers Dell built for Ford. What can we build yours to do? Call in for just $99 a month. You can lease this Dell Dimension XPS with a 333 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 processor, 64 megs of SD RAM, 8.4 gig hard drive, Microsoft Office Small Business Edition, and Windows 95, a 17-inch monitor, 32x max variable CD-ROM, an 8 megabyte AGP video card, even an X2 US robotics modem, and 24-hour tech support. The Dell Dimension XPS with a 333 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 processor. Your performance for just $99 a month. Dell, what can we build yours to do? The 1998 Scott Tournament of Hearts from Regina, Saskatchewan on TSN is brought to you by Pillowy Soft Purex Bathroom Tissue. I've heard about wearing your hearts on a sleeve, but wearing <laughs> your Scott Turnout hearts on your cheek? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> it's got the yeah. nice teeth. Eh? Nice to wait for another yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> then to the numbers after five. It has been a fairly open game. We think of the first end, actually, there was more rocks in play and a nice double by Saskatchewan, clean things up. The numbers are pretty good, but remember, it's been quite open. And you'll see the numbers rise when the game is more simple. I think in the second five, we're going to see a few more rocks in play, and there'll have to be some big shot making to execute in the second five. As we begin play here in the sixth, three two Saskatchewan leading Nova Scotia. Whoa, whoa, Team from line, Halifax, no Mayflower no Curling Club line. with the hammer. No lie. This is the lead stone no of line. Saskatchewan's Kerry Lynn Schakowsky. Yes, now. Yep. Oh, no bump, no bump, no bump. It's a good angle. There's nothing wrong with that angle. Okay, that's good. Now this is a very typical situation where the first stone has come in, the corner goes up, the second stone comes in, and this is where you have to decide how you're going to play this. Are you going to rearrange the stones gently or hit them and try and get a roll? The important thing is to save the shooter so the opponent can't go up and take off the corner. Whoa, whoa, regular! Whoa. Close! Heather, who works as the diabetes director at the Queen General Hospital in Can you see Liverpool, all that, Karen? Nova Scotia. Yeah. Mary's happy with that shot, uh, Linda, because it moves the, the Saskatchewan stone in behind the T-line. It's a corner guard up. How much more than all? And the shooter's uh, half buried, so it was a good shot. Okay, just give me control eight. And often find Karen on the squash court. Plays the hardball yeah. game, although the hardball game isn't quite as popular anymore in North Whoa. America either. Softball is starting to take over Whoa. the world. That's a very nice shot. She passes it by the back one. Also, the big key is that she didn't roll it, allow Mary to come down in there and draw. So that's right, because Mary was quite happy with that situation Absolutely. where the stones have been rearranged. But now she has no choice but to make a play on that front rock. Nice shot by Karen Daku. Whoa, whoa. Seven years she's been an RCMP officer. Lisa McLeod. Be real close. Good call by Mary to get the roll over. Oh, a little bit the thinner and it would have yeah. uh, stayed, but she did try. She lined that up when it looked like the rock was hanging. Did uh, did Lisa train here in Regina? Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah, she did. It's yeah. interesting. Well, this is, yeah, this is the national headquarters. The, is there only one training center? One training center, but the national RCMP headquarters right, no, would be in Ottawa. No. We don't I want knew to do that. that just, no, but the training center here. is here. Yeah. I knew it was here. I just so didn't know if there wasn't here. one in the east as well. Okay. Vic has spent a lot of time with him okay. this week. He knows everything there is to know. 
And they have very neat rows when they march. This is one of those key shots we talk about where you're going with your second rocks. Kieran's shot, just trying to keep it to top center, house. Guys. Don't bring it in. We're wide open. No, don't bring it in. Tight, though, tight. And they are having trouble in this okay, spot. They're right going up, to try right up, and leave right it a little right up, outside right the ring, so this, this right may up. be a little longer than she likes. Yeah, this is too high. Okay, sorry. Mary will go around I this now. I thought it was more. They were going to bring it top 12, and then it was hanging, so they were going to leave it just short, but it doesn't do either. In turn, come around. No, wait on the girls, no! Curl, baby. Okay, now take it. Good way, Lisa. Nice shot. Just okay, just control away, Christy. Got it outside a little bit. There's ice is changing a little bit. But this is the one spot where they've been mentioning time after time, both with hits and draws. It's not coming, leave yeah. it okay. out. So they oh, may just have bit. a straighter spot. No. Christy no, works for right WestJet. Christy gets a lot more Good. movement on her stones. Uh, they they will curl right more than, than everybody else's, especially that intern. She gets that started a little bit. It's caused her a little bit of problem uh, in a few games earlier, but uh, throwing it a little straighter today, but she gets lots of action on it. I'd be trying to bury with uh, that intern of hers uh, if I could, every time I get the chance. She works for the Halifax no, School no. Board in their program department. Never. They lined up the double takeout. No. Close. Never. Not a bad shot, but uh, this is going to be one of those cases where the first time you can get in, if you can bury it, it's, it's interesting, great. though, that I, she was playing the double, lining up the double. I, I think it would have been more, um, I would have been trying to, to get the hit and roll to the open side or maybe even get the, the double the other way, forcing uh, Saskatchewan to play the open shot, then you can play the first come around. Good point. Line's good. This way. Wait um, only. Kathy Lots Trell gets the chance to play Lots the first come. Yet. And if it, and if it if gets buried, great. If it doesn't, then it's yeah. advantage Nova Scotia. Yeah. Oh, Christie's in terms of really work, but she just overthrew this. Like this is uh, right back, Karen, right enough back. way to right go through back, the rings. Right back, if you right throw back. the proper weight, she would have had that absolutely buried because she gets lots of action on that intern of hers. That's just way too strong. Both of these teams use stopwatches, so we'll see if Angie has learned from that particular spot that and that particular draw her. attempt. Line's good. No line. Oh, wait only. No line at all. And we were saying 14 seconds, and this seems to be one of the fastest spots. So that one looks strong. Those are golden, opp golden opportunities uh, for both uh, Christy and then for Carter. Angie and uh, Kate.
I think that only that must only be that just right on the center where it just halted that one spot. Because I tell you, that's gliding pretty good. Okay. Okay. So has there been change yeah. though? Well, uh, uh, Linda's had the watch on it. Uh, I would say this is the fastest spot. I don't think it's changed a lot. But this is one of those where the sweepers can take it a long way, so you definitely can't overthrow it. Kathy works for the Line's good. Regina Line's Dental good. Lab. Line's good. It's all yours, guys. Line's good. The guys are Line's Carrie Lynchkowski, Karen Daku. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Christy Lewis as well Come now. On. How far can they drag it? The Cut ice has been Cut good for brushing. Come on, keep going, keep going. And they'll take it top four. Just didn't finish four, but she got it tucked yeah, around a little it's bit. A little slower to go. Heather. How much is that? Oh. Well, they had a look from the other end, and they're seeing that it's wide open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nova Scotia has the hammer here in this sixth. They brushed that, had to brush that hard, and I think that they kind of held that one straight. And also, um, Kathy Charles, uh, in turn, doesn't run as, uh, doesn't curl like. Uh, Christy Lewis's does. Oh. Ran pretty straight down there, didn't it? It sure did. I don't want to give her a double. Saskatchewan is, is line two, both okay. back behind the T line, back eight, back 12. Yep, same way. Okay. So if it is the same weight and we're anticipating there is some movement, they may have to wait with the brushing. here yep. for Kathy Get to on. Come on. really close Hurry. off this forefoot, Linda. Hurry. Tighter line, she said. Hurry. Lewis out earlier. Hurry. Come on. Come on. To join Get Daku on. and Joukowsky. Missed the front one by a foot, though. Oh, yeah, it does. It's just... Not tough. And it ends up basically in the same place. Top four. As we look at the chairperson of this year's 98 Scott, that's Bernadette McIntyre. We say thank you to you. And happy birthday. Yeah. That's right. Hi, Ray. Hi, Linda. Hi, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> happy Hello, 40th. Matt. Happy birthday. Congratulations. And congratulations on a wonderful week. The record setting Scott Tournament of Hearts here in Regina. Just back house weight. Mary's playing to tap it back. And I do have to be so careful in this spot. Big shot here for the Nova Scotia skipper. Well, the blue well, nose. Great weight. 
great week. To sit edge of the floor for a single point for Nova Scotia. And Mary Matito. One here in the sixth will tie it up. We're all even 3-3. Three, three. It was about the time that gold was discovered on Bonanza Creek that the Canadian Bank of Commerce set out on one of the great human adventures in Canada's history, the epic trek to the Klondike. It's so terrible out there. I can't imagine. They've been asked to open the first official bank. In your letter, when you described the trip over the mountain, I... Sure, there was plenty of gold, all right, and plenty of ways to spend it, too. But the men knew they could trust the Canadian Bank of Commerce. As far as the new bank is concerned, I'm extremely well satisfied with the efforts. You see, the bank was there on behalf of the Dominion government and they could see beyond the glitter to a larger dream, a dream called Canada. You're a waiting wife and your loving and devoted husband, Wilfred. When you never forget where you came from, you can see more clearly where you're going. As in the past, CIBC will continue to play a pioneering role by investing in Canada's vision of the future. Hi, CIBC. How may I help you? Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Seeing beyond. McCain brings you the freshest tasting frozen pizza ever made. McCain Pizza Premier in the unique vacuum packed flavor lock package that seals air out so it stays fresher tasting longer. It cooks in just half the time and has a tender no mess rim. So whenever you're ready for pizza, McCain Pizza Premier is ready for you in fresh tasting deli lovers pepperoni and deluxe. McCain Pizza Premier, we've got a lock on fresh taste. Some of us thrive in wet situations. Scott towels are no exception. Thirsty Scott towels are so absorbent and strong, you can trust them to soak up quickly, which is a good thing. For most of us. Scott towels, always thirsty for more. Just a reminder, stay with us after the game for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by Super 8 Motels. We deliver great quality, time after time. Same, Same with, with Super, Super 8. 8. Every room is comfortable. <laughs> and roomy. Super 8. Super 8. <laughs> Life's, Life's great, great at Super, Super 8. 8. As we begin play here in the seventh, Saskatchewan has the hammer in a 3-3 tie and the center line guard has gone up by the Nova Scotia lead, Heather Hopkins. So here we go. Around it. Get it on. Let's we'll see how much it buries. They're playing the other half of the sheet as we were saying, we think coming yes, home yes, on. on the one side, the right hand side as we're looking at it, it's a little straighter on the edge of the four foot band, but this spot tends to move. Right up, right up, right up, right up, right up, right up. That's right. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay. And that's a pro side miss if you're trying to get something going. It can't be removed. Well, you got your center guard up and uh, Saskatchewan failed to get theirs in, so you have your first shot. And as you mentioned earlier, Heather's been the, the top lead here all week and she may be struggling a bit tonight but a chance to get to the top of that forefoot behind the long guard with you Line's good. Wait on the lead girls. second Walk. stone let it work line let it work off that mark for t-line for nothing are sensitive. If you have your choice oh, you're going to play around it from left to right yeah, to center as opposed to from right to left hearing Mary say she calls them the hash marks but uh, feels that that's okay, particularly that. sensitive down that area you know we could do this yeah, I, I certainly like that better or the tap if you don't think it's going to bury right. with the out turn but you started by playing offense you still can stick with it that one in the back of the eight foot's not a problem not when you have the hammer, it shouldn't be. Terry Lynn Schakowsky. Wait on me. How's the wind going? Top house. Eight oh, right now. Ten in the back. Four. Four. We're going back to this. Nothing. No, we have no line. We have no back. We have nothing. I think
think I might be tempted to play the tap instead of this. It's just taking so long to come in. Okay, that's good. Keeping our eye on the game between British Columbia and New Brunswick as they play oh. in the sixth. 5 3 New Brunswick <laughs> leading. British Columbia has the hammer. This is the final stone of the end for Whoa. New Brunswick and Kathy Floyd. She slipped on her delivery. She's trying in a raise or an in off on the side. I couldn't tell which. She slipped so much. Yep. She actually fell on her delivery. She Whoa. ended up on her knee. And so now yep. it's one and two. Whoa. BC. Close. Yep. 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 To get in for a close, third close. is what Sue Garvey will try to figure out. Nice shot, as Kathy Floyd checks the slider. And a nice hit and roll on the top right. Nova Scotia, Lisa McLeod. Hit that Saskatchewan stone and roll dead buried. Not a good time to, for my foot to go out from underneath I can me. Feel this. I just thought that one was too good. One. Okay. We do this, that might pop in. Yeah, just control is fine. Mine's a bit tight. Final stone for British Columbia's yeah. Sue Garvey. In the sixth. Piece of the Bang. four. Playing the bump up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Right over here. Very right nice. Over. To Good. score three. No, that's okay. Just... And take a one point lead, 6 5 over New Brunswick, going to the seventh. Of course, BC trying to stay at four losses. Saskatchewan peeled off that Nova Scotia guard, and Lisa McLeod will try and put it right back after that lovely hit and roll. Bring it, Tom. Pass that one. It's not going to go past that one. Okay. too much. Whoa! Whoa! Karen Daku. Close! Whoa! Whoa! Yep! 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 Can I get yep, any yep, action yep. on the other yellow? Just a little. Okay, that's good. Another guard by Mary. Try and overlap the yellow one now. Prevent the run back or tap back. Angie Bryant. Whoa. No, no, never, never, Whoa, never, never. never. his guard. Slides top 12. Updating the game between Manitoba and Prince Edward Island as they play in the sixth in a 2-2 tie. Prince Edward Island's Tammy Lowther flashed her final stone. This is Lois Fowler and the team from the Brandon Curling Club. Both teams with records in, of three and five. They hit and stick for two. So Manitoba moves in front 4-2 as they go to seven. We can try it. Get it on the, try this. Normal's good. Hit it right in the nose and you can get the double. Got a couple chances at it, Linda. Mm, 
That's right. In a couple of ways, if you don't hit it quite on the nose, if you hit it more on the broom side, you'll get it a different way. No, 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 different no, no. Different rocks moving. No, no, no. Whoa. Nope. 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 That. Okay, that's all right. This one should dig a little better for you guys than that other one. Sanji picking up something about stones that might indicate one is different than the other dig yeah. a little more yeah she has think she has one that's a little bit slower clean clean just clean oh just clean oh let it bend here it comes oh remember saskatchewan has the hammer At here the in end. seven no. yeah now it's now, Nova now. Right. hard now girls come on line two at the back that's better good guard Just gonna play the raise back. Tap that back into there. I like the call. I liked it actually earlier, but now the yellow one's even closer because remember on appeal on another stone, the shooter rolled on top of that guard and pushed it a tiny bit closer. Just T-line wait. Just T-line. Christy Lewis. What do I got? Yes! 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 Quickly. Hurry! Hurry! Come on! Hurry! The calls hurry. of trowel almost being lost here right hurry. now in the Agrodome. She certainly had the perfect weight, Linda. It just curled too much. And the brushers seemed to hesitate a little bit. They weren't quite sure who was calling out. Unfortunately, that stone is wide open and the guards are now overlapped. She's going back when that's the only problem. There's nothing I can avoid. No, well, sit there. She's got to play on it and then she keeps the high side. She'll hit and roll in. Yeah. So what do you want to play? I think we should hit and roll here with the top of the bucket. Yeah. I think so. Control. I like just a little bit. There's the, the reasoning, of course, like that, a little that bit they were ice there, discussing it a little bit the because the uh, Nova Scotia stone is still shot rock. Go your way, Heather. I'm kind of, uh, no, this might so they could play the intern, come around the to the top four foot and try and tuck it behind the guard. But anyway. I think this is the right shot, Linda. I think that if you leave that there, then they could come in off of it. And well, I'd definitely be hitting it, and I'd definitely be trying to roll. Sure. Now that was very controlled weight and Ran she didn't get any action on it at all. Barely got the rock out of the house. Mm -hmm. She sure didn't overthrow it. Right there. Yeah, it's running straight down there. Oh yeah. The hers is out, the frost well, more than that. become something now the, the rhythmic applause every time one of the Saskatchewan skips gets ready to throw so they, she threw about a they do it when Sandra Christy? Schmerler gets ready to throw and now they're doing it when okay. Kathy Trowell is about to throw her first Now this intern yes, holds for a while, then it breaks big time, or it has been anyway, so surely it'll follow the same pattern, Lou. Yeah, gotta get it. This is definitely the spot that moves. Hurry! We're by, we're by, we're by! 
to leave it top great up. line. Great line, great weight, great brushing. And they'll sit it on the lid. Yes, it, guys. It's a good shot. The once they were by, I, I don't know why Kerry then was brushing shot. it. No, I would have left it top button, top four foot. Yeah, it not does right give the uh, Mary Manitou a little bit of a chance to sit around top of it. Once they got it by, Kerry didn't definitely had to brush to get it, make sure it got by. But once you heard uh, uh, Kathy Trail yell, it's by, it's by, then you had to leave it. Well, plus you don't know, like it kind of fudges a little bit sometimes, and we got to bury as much as we could. Not bounce into the open, okay? Give me a little more. She was tight there. Lines, no, 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 have a look. It's gotta move. Here it comes. It will come across. Okay, only if you have to, no line. Here it comes. Go hard. Here it hard, comes, go hard, hard. Heather Hopkins, Lisa right McLeod. Hard, right up. Going to get it by, gonna sneak it by. Little flop, yep, take it, take it, take Little it. rub, and it'll sit biting top 12. Update Newfoundland and Canada as they play in the seventh. 5-4, Team Canada leading final stone for Sandra Schmerler, who has one sitting top four covered, and she'll hit and stick there for two in a seven. Four lead. Uh, full eight does it pretty well. Well, yeah, I guess we... I can't remember when that back one is. Out turn draw, full eight foot. She said we'll, we'll get it, get her the extra point. Maybe I should tuck that ice a little bit. There the wide, one. sorry. Hey, let's, do I, the wide I need turn just curls too much to get in there. I'm just worried about the line a little bit. Okay, just in, yeah. Well, just inside, yeah, it's so straight. Yeah, that's good. There is that one Nova Scotia stone sitting center line, full in the eight at the back. That's definitely what she has to outdraw, and she Mine's was good. just worried about it going Mine's so good. straight. Mine's she good, wouldn't have a lot of the eight foot to work it's all yours. with. Yes. It's all yours. It's all yours. All yours, Carrie Linchikowski, Karen Daku. Full eight is what they need. Catch a piece of the four. That's how you get two. Saskatchewan, Kathy Trowell out of the Cali here in Regina. Pick up a pair. They're in front by two. I first started on a rink just like this. Elvis Stoiko knows what it takes to be a champion. It takes hard work to deliver a top performance. Like McCain Frozen Punch delivers the real fruit taste of real fruit juice for champions like Elvis Stoiko. McCain Frozen Punch in a choice of thirst-quenching flavors like grape, orange, and fruit punch. So get the jump on taste, the year-round taste of real fruit juice in McCain Frozen Punch. McCain, now that's top taste performance. Since 1982, Scott's Paper has been the proud sponsor of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. That's right, Gavin. Scott Towels has been there for the spills of victory. And Scotty's was there for the disappointments of defeat. Oh, that was a tough loss. Here's Sandra Schmerler and the Scott product team practicing their winning form. What? Oh. What great action. That Scott team really delivers. That was great. As always, the Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by this family of fine Scott Paper products. Imagine living in a neighborhood where the worst traffic you encounter is a group of running eight-year-olds, where you actually know your neighbors, and the biggest crime committed is that steak you burned last night. Recreation vehicles. Wherever you go, you're always at home. Call today for a free brochure or visit an RV dealer near you.
another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia, connecting people. Thursday, the PGA's best tee off at the Nissan Open. Defending champion Nick Faldo leads a top-notch field in Valencia, California. PGA drama. See it on TSN. Thursday, the NHL's best are back on TSN. Catch an original six matchup between the Leafs and the Rangers. And best of all, there's no time change. Molson NHL tonight. Check it out on TSN. We have some email from Jim Frank of Ottawa. We miss Vic Rudder as Scotty's little softy. Can we see it again? We can always do that for you, Jim. We have a little bit of uh, fun with it. Uh, we certainly wouldn't do anything that would uh, jeopardize our credibility, I hope. I think we're you just know. having fun. <laughs> The lady on the left is Arden Stevenson of the Regina Leader Post, and I was trying, she wanted an interview. And I don't I, think you should explain this, Vic. And I'm in the Scotty's <laughs> costume trying to be serious with her. Yeah. As we get you caught up, past the midway point of this 14th draw. Well, I tell you what, we thank everybody here in Regina. We're having a wonderful, wonderful week. No line. This 98, Scott Turnout of Hearts. No line. Two for Saskatchewan. And they lead it's Nova Scotia with the hammer in eight. Well, it's, it's Mary's got to make a move here, and she's going to try this, obviously. She put the first stone came just to the top 12 foot. Mary threw up the corner guard, and now Kathy Trial just asked to push that back. Mary could uh, freeze to the face of that one right there if she wanted, or play the hit and roll. Long as you save the shooter. If you lose the shooter, Kathy Trowell will peel off the guard. This is what I was saying earlier. You can even play these tap with just tap back, back yeah. weight, just to the back house. Now, Heather hasn't had her best game. We've talked about that. 87% coming into this game is the top lead for Nova Scotia, but a little oh, tap back oh here. You're gosh. sure of keeping the shooter in play anyways. This is a decision you have to make. You'd actually like to keep the rock behind the T-line anyway. I mean, you can use it. Just doesn't want to make a move. Oh, oh. see that dig in there? Oh. Easy. Easy. Now for Saskatchewan, they like wow, the fact that Nova wow. Scotia is making a full play on these rocks, yeah, I'm sure. So they don't mind just sitting there and seeing what Mary does Clean next. In. and roll. Well, I agree with the thought process that we have seen that this spot is straighter than most. And so rather than trying to come around a shot that's in front, they're going to try and tap it back. No, no line. No line. No. No. No line. No. Yeah, no. Yep. 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 Whoa. 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 Let it curl. Let it curl. Yep. 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 Hurry, 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 hurry. 
Nice shot. Karen Daku with a little bump to the top 12, and Saskatchewan, without the hammer, is lying too. Throw regular here. We're gonna try and get both of those, okay? You wanna regular. come the other way? Well, then that leaves us sitting here. I'd like to hit and roll. Okay. Regular weight. Sound reasoning? Yeah, she's worried about where the shooter's going to go, and she has a bit of a plan here. Yup. Hard. Regular. Straight up. Hard. Hurry, hurry. You got it, girls. Harder. Take the roll. No roll, it'll sit right there, but gets the Saskatchewan stones out of the control zone. Now this is interesting because, as Kathy said, this is not an easy spot to come around. So the fact that Redstone sat on center line, we'll see if, uh, if Saskatchewan can't make the good come around. It's actually a great spot for the Nova Scotia stone. Now Christy Lewis's shots will curl. She gets some action on the, rele on the release, so. If anybody can get a berry, she can. Stay close, here it comes, here it comes. Keeping our eye on New Brunswick, Whoa, British Columbia as well. Yeah, Final yeah, stone, Kathy yeah, Floyd. As okay, she faces okay, a pile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry, Looking hurry, at hurry, uh, hurry, hurry. Come on, come double on, come to on, possibly on, score hurry, two. Hurry, 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 Great shot yeah, by Christy. Yeah, she gets a lot more action on the stone, Linda. It's, it's, it's her release. That's certainly a good weapon if you have it in your arsenal. That's what I was saying earlier in the in the game that I like to freeze down to the back. Well, I like I will that update you on that to score no, BC uh, New this Brunswick. Second, they're, they're just the top of the A floor. You don't like the come around there, eh? Because they're not gonna be able to do anything. What about the freeze? I like the freeze to the back one if you think you oh, can get around, around there. there. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Then they'll probably try and cap this yellow one. We got the straight back, right? Well, no. Yeah, we've got. I mean, we freeze there. We got shot. There, come back here. Come up here. You go. It looks so different. You... That's ours, though, Heather. But I mean, you you get quite a bit of. That's just biting. I like that. We can always play that with mine if we have to. Yeah, and then we've got more control of the control zone there. Doesn't matter. I'll play I either. I don't know. What did your gut say? Well, I even... My gut says straight back. This is the only thing I'm worried about is it's hard to get to here. Yeah. No, then that screws this up. Let's go straight back. We'll go straight back. Control weight. No, okay, well. Yeah? I'm gonna give you in turn. Okay, straight rock. You saw New Brunswick got one in the seventh the to tie BC, 6-6. Well, six, six. Yeah. Well, they're gonna play the run back, uh, I guess, is yes. what they've decided on. Uh, Mary wanted to go through the hole to the base of the back stone and... I think I want you to play regular. Okay. In turn, eh? Shot. Worked out pretty well. It certainly did. They can't ignore that stone. And if they don't get the roll across the rings, that'll give uh, Mary a chance five. to play the intern uh, come around that she wanted to play previously without the rock being there. Yep. Christy whoa. Lewis yes. here in whoa. the eighth. No, no, no. That's good. Looks a lot more composed tonight. Can't get back to that other one. We gotta just play straight draw. In turn draw. 
25 here, eh? Now we were saying that the spot on the edge of the four foot band with this turn was straighter. This is one of the first where we've seen a, a draw starting about the edge of the button yep. and moving over. Okay, Hurry. Got line up, hurry! Hard for line guys, hard! Whoa! Yep, hard. yep, bounce it, Lisa! Bounce. No, it's mostly light. Whoa. Just light. It's all right. Well, it goes at the end. No, we were given here to get to, and it would get to here. Okay. Kathy Trowell has yeah, like I said, brought her numbers up since the last time the we checked. We've got to get across the button. Yeah, I think I'd rather just off. Yeah. Just off. Okay. okay. Just think, you know. Unfortunately, I'm not real, real sure where this line is, hey? Eh? What did they think your weight was? Did they think you were all right? Yeah, I think you have to leave mm -hmm. it. But a grab. Yeah, yeah, let it set and then let it go. But Angie had talked about 25 or 15 oh, seconds between the hog line, and I don't I think it is I, that if fast. I take any less, what do you think? Maybe the one spot on this side might be fast, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. The problem is they don't cross the center. I think but. that looks great, and you're throwing the same weight on both your draws here. Okay. Okay. Now this would be the fastest the spot fastest where she's spot, about yeah. to throw. The spot that uh, Angie was throwing down would be what I would consider more the normal spot. Wait close, wait just close. Wait on me. We're talking. Wait on me. Lots of room. So we'll have no, a look at the yep. rock no, clock no to see line. the ice speed no, in this no fastest line spot. No line. Just talk talk to is fine. Got no line. No line. No line. Familiar phrase, no, no, no line in yeah, this spot, right so it yeah. should be top house. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. We couldn't, we couldn't do anything. That was a good call, you guys. There was no use taking it. No, fight. That's fighting. Play this hit. I'd, I'd take there for takeout. I don't think she can roll for shot, so... Playing the hit and roll here? I, I need kind of boardish weight here, guys, because we gotta. She's playing this hit so here. Far, okay? There's no way she can roll for so shots if she wants to roll board. over into here someplace. But I take edge of the rock. For I guess control. she could she could also come down so and to tap this stone rock, straight okay? back into here. Yeah, unless she's playing this very thinly, oh. I, I don't see yeah. how she can get shot. Thin double, you mean? Yeah, or yeah. Redirection? Mm -hmm. Harry Matatol. Yep. All the way. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hurry. Right up. Oh, it's really light. Go hard. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. All right, all the way, guys. Yeah, that's the right way I wanted to throw the curl. I, I, I just, I don't understand the shot, so that, I guess. There's no point you calling it. No. Looking at the weight, it looked to me like she was just trying to catch the inside corner and, and, and redirect it. Redirect it, yeah. Okay. It had to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, more I ice. wanted to hit it so that I, I mean, I wanted to hit it just an inch of it. Like, I'll give you a couple more feet, the, but... <coughs> the percentages with the raise as opposed to that little redirection shot. Those are, you know, she had to just catch it inch of it and kind of hope to get to the eight foot and uh, you guys are okay with this hey, the like raise was just a straight uh, tap back i mean the raises are tough the tap backs that's are what tough. i'm thinking same way with the sweep it's on yeah the angle's fine well she's got the raise back but that's for one yeah yeah okay Well, she just threw this spot, so she should know it very well. No line. No line. No line. Go around. 
I think she took about the same ice as for the draw, and it's not going to move because she needs Whoa. that little extra weight. Whoa. Found the hole. Right back. And to the back eight. You know, I just gave it that little bit extra, and then the, and we had no line on it. It's a small port. Time, please. Time out called by Time Nova out. Scotia. I think Mary's going to consider whether or not she's going to try Time the out. same port or a tap. She was just lucky to get through that port. I don't know I if know, I can. Really tight port. I don't I, know if I, I like can. this. That's the one I think Play you should have played there. the last time. I don't mind just tapping. Now it's a choice. You could tap either one of the red ones, the one biting or the one in front. Yep. How to get to it, though. Yeah. Come across the face of it. Last, last time what you chose to come across the face. The only thing with playing this one. Didn't she just play the Just, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, no, it, it, it's fine. I thought we might get into I want, I was thinking about the trick, but then the way it, well, it was like. Yeah. Like, you might as well. Like, not actually. actually. You know, yeah. It's a sensitive line there because it can curl up there or like that one hung straight, but it's a, it is a tough line there. I like this raise here, Mary. Oh, it's like just that. so dead over there, Angie. This one, that's really tight too, looking all the. You like that one? We gotta go way out for that. We gotta oh, angle no, it into the center line. But I just, I play board weight there, you guys. Hack. hack weight then. So where do I put the broom? It's a guess. Well, why don't you like this one here in center? Because you yours like died really hard so there, Angie. What do you want to play then, Mary? You want to play I think, around? no, I think I've got to play. You didn't want to play. You I don't like either. Or you play the no, we can't. We gotta go one way or the other. No, I know. Thank you. But well, which way? What turn? In turn? Uh, well, if we split them out, we get nothing. We gotta go for one shot. Play the shot. Yeah, I know, but we're just. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't like either one. She doesn't want to come through the hole. She said that she just felt that was this too small a hole. She could come, follow area. the hole down and get to the edge of the forefoot. This this shot here, we thought that uh, Linda and I talked about this. We thought she should have played this last time, trying to bump it back there. They talked about also raising this one over here, but you got to go too far out for this one. Uh, so uh, this raise, I think, is is the easiest of all the like raises, either. and she doesn't like the hole. So I mean, it's a small hole. I realize that. Do you remember the ice I gave? Angie for the her come around. That looks good to me, Mary. I think it looks good. This one looks fine. I, you think the thing flash? about the one in the 12, but think, I don't Heather? think it's going to do anything odd. I think the one in the 12 is going to run straight and you, you throw the little extra weight because of where it is. I, you yeah. pick one and you go with the one you think you know the best. Well, no, I got it. This I, one's I, fine. No, yeah. You could follow the shot down too. It's playing the raise on the uh, she just underthrew that, didn't she? I mean, you didn't get a slow scoop. Flame she underthrew it, right? You knew she was light. Like, I don't have to worry. I'm just going to throw T-line weight here, right? Why, the, uh, why the, the questions about the ice here, Linda? Well, the one she's about to raise, she was concerned about Angie's rock. It slowed up. She didn't know why. And because of that, it curled. So she, now she's kind of second guessing where to put the broom and how much weight to give. But I agree with her. I think Angie was light. Angie was talking about a time that I don't think we've been seeing on the ice. You have to throw a little extra because you're moving yep. granite here, not just drawing. Line Final two. stone. Line. Here in eight. Saskatchewan is lying two at the back. Okay, line's good. Harder. Three. Raise for you're one. Okay, Heather. Whoa. Whoa. Heather Hopkins, yes, okay. Lisa go, McLeod. Go, go, go hard, hard. Now, Come on, guys. Sweep it, Lisa. Need some more. Hard, need hard, a little hard. more. Hard. Need a little more. I don't know. I don't think they got it there. No. Oh, Steal okay. a two. Angie Bryan has a look. She didn't like any shot, but boy, she came close. Mary Manitou gives up the steal of two. Saskatchewan now is up by four. Okay, sounds good to me. Hey, everybody.
welcome back to TSN tonight. Let's bring you up to date on the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres. This one's going down to the wire. Prior to the game, Dominic Hasek was honored for his gold medal performance early on. Jeff Sanderson, a little give and go with Donald the Dead. Sanderson's first shift with the Sabres, and that's a gold one. It's one nothing. Second period, Toronto comes back. Sandin out in front for Warner. The backhander solves Hasek. Warner's third that ties the game up at one. Third period, Sabres five on three. Miroslav Setan to Donald the Dead. That makes it two to one. Four seconds left in the go in the game. Schneider with the shot. Sundin gets the lumber on it. He tips it in. That effectively ties the game up at two. They are currently playing as we speak in overtime. Meanwhile, the Edmonton Oilers lead the Senators by a score of two to nothing. Nine games in the NHL. Highlights at 11. Twinkle, twinkle. Wouldn't putting your stars together with our five-star rating be a bright thing to do? Remember, kids in the back seat. And buckle up. Next, another case of boredom twitch syndrome. Nothing relieves boredom twitch syndrome like Star Choice Digital Satellite Television. Over 90 channels of movies, sports, and entertainment, all with cinema quality picture and CD quality sound. <laughs> For a retailer in your community, call now. Finally, the choice is yours. Star Choice. Getting late now in this 14th draw of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Steel of two has really broken it open for Saskatchewan. 7-3 over Nova Scotia. Well, in fairness to Mary, she had great lines. She just, she just, she talked about throwing draw weight, and uh, you, you can't throw draw weight on this ice in particular only, to girls. raise a rock uh, oh, six crazy. to eight feet. No, that, that's the one thing that I find uh, players sometimes talk themselves into. You heard her mention T-line weight, but you're moving granite, you're moving it from in yep. front of the house, you have to move it quite a distance on ice. As you say, it's getting a little frostier, especially in the painted surfaces, so you can't just think T-line, because the sweepers can't drag it quite that far. Gary Lynn Schakowsky. I hope this works out, but we give him two. It, it'll, it won't move here. This is an interesting sheet because we're looking at the spot Mary's calling the outturn guard, assuming it's only going to curl about a foot. And we don't like to talk about ice being a little bit slanted because we're not sure if that's the case. But in this particular sheet, we're seeing movement on the left side as we're looking at the sheet from left to right, but not from right to left. And that sometimes indicates that the sheet is a little bit slanted towards center on whoa, this side. Whoa, whoa, guys. The ice makers may shoot me. That's that good. sometimes is the Easy. case. And you're a sitting up duck guys. up here. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Okay. You can take easy aim. You just, you don't need POA, just, okay? Just normal's fine. Whoa, whoa, no. No, 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 no. Close, yes. Right over, go hard, go hard, right over. That's my fault, sorry. Updating the game between Manitoba PEIs that play in the eighth, 4-3. Manitoba leading, that's Lois Fowler from the Brandon Curling Club against Tammy Lowther from Charlottetown. Both teams, as I say, with five losses, three wins, five losses. Crucial that either of them stay there. They hit and the roll and it'll stop. 
For one, Manitoba is up 5-3, playing nine, and Lowther has the hammer. Lisa McLeod. Gonna buy that one. Okay, good. Shot. Go and take this turn. Stay with this one. They say from Karen Daku. Good shot. Now this is going to be a tough guard to get around. First of all, in the reading the ice segment, Ray showed us that getting to the 12 foot anywhere is tough. And so far this has seemed to be a straight side from this inside out position. Go back to the eighth end just for a no minute. I really Bob think that Mary uh, made her mistake with her Wait first off. shot, no. Linda. I think she should have played that raise with her first one as opposed to trying to play the redirection shot that she played on a rock Bring that was in here, the 12 guys. foot to trying to get it to the eight foot. Uh, she, you know, you heard her talk. She just wanted to touch a, court, a corner of it or an inch of it and try and redirect it into the eight foot. And that's a very d difficult shot because you have to be so precise on how, how you hit it. Where the raise the first time she had the chance to was just to, to raise it back and what try and get hurt? it in play, and she could have actually set up the possibility of scoring two. You know, and keeping our eye, Ray, excuse me, British Columbia, New Brunswick, in a 6 6 tie. Final whoa, stone, whoa, Sue whoa, Garvey. Whoa. Center line whoa. raise, drive it back, whoa, whoa, no, no, right and roll right. inside for one. No. So it'll be a steal of one for New Brunswick. And Kathy Floyd in the eighth and a 7-6 lead. Well, Sue had a chance for a couple there, and the stone just didn't curl enough for her. That long run back is so tough because of the distance between them. Certainly one she could try because it had the possibility of a couple, but it was tough. It's interesting here too. Mary's going to this out turn to try and tuck around the corner again. When we know that the intern, the intern will really curl on the other side around the, around the rock that is on the other side because we've had a lot of play down there. Okay, well then. It's not bad short here actually. It's a. You're just making a fall when you're sinking it. Canada, Newfoundland. A live update for you. 7-4 as they play the eighth. Final stone, Heather Strong. Got a double here for a couple. Yes. And she'll jam it and leave Team Canada. Lying one, back four. Steal a one for Sandra Schmerler. Whoa. Whoa. Nice shot by Christy. Very nice shot. The applause around the Agrodome for Team Canada and Sandra Schmeller, who will win it eight to four over Newfoundland and Heather Strong. So Team Canada is now six and three. Newfoundland drops to two and seven. Go on. Only wait. Wait only wall right off, girls. Yeah, take it in, take it in. We can't get any curl around that no, guard. You can't, Mary. So you've got to either play the raise. Turn. No, you've either got to play the raise on the one on the left or come around with the intern on the one on the right. <laughs> yeah. This is the straighter turn, so let's use this one, okay? <laughs> yeah, yes Just give is. you control it's weight, control. though. Yeah. And it's tough, but you've got to give, uh, you've got to take what the ice will give you. 
hidden Instead of trying to go this way, good. what we're suggesting is that maybe That's what I mean. try like to go it, that like a, way a nose with Mary Shot. This is positive, a, a hit for Kathy. But I'm only going to give you control weight because this just is not... Yeah, so don't jump it because we have to get to the face of it. Kathy Trowell in her first skip stone. I don't see any other option to get in there. Here. This will definitely come in here. I, I, I don't care what anybody says. She's playing this one here. Reverse for Mary Matito. Shot is right. Very nice. Behind cover edge of the 12. I think we raise that. It's not going to move much. Keeping our eye on Manitoba PEI as they play the ninth. Yeah, make it all the way to the other side of the team. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think that's I think good Tammy there. can see a corner of the shot stone, the Manitoba Rock, that's sitting behind her own and a guard. So this is a tap back for, for a possible hit for three. three. Yeah, and the lead. Against Lois Fowler. Really got to give it the brush here. Scales, Musica. Now they'll back off. But will it move enough? They brush it too much and straighten it out? They did. Uh, it's just too much weight, I think, for that shot. Yeah, it got caught in the frost line there a little bit, too. You could just see it straightened up a bit. That rock was pretty well protected. Sure was. Manitoba steals one. And Lois Fowler's up 6 3. Kathy Trowell. Playing the raise. This is a good call. I think yeah. the only concern she has is just how much ice to give because this is right around that center ice area. Line, and even no if she line, catches a no corner line. and spills in, it's a good shot. No line. No line. No line. This runs very get, straight. Get around it. Whoa, whoa. Plan B. Whoa, go around. Go around. Yep. Yep. Hurry. 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 Plan B. Chance for Mary to get two, though. That'll run straight down there. We're so worried about that line, and that's exactly that rock is so straight. Yeah, if she'd been able to catch a corner of the one in the house and spill in, I think she could have maybe sat one too and not had to worry. But it just went so straight. And it really died once it hit the rings. If you think it's too tight, we could play the raise. It's almost better to go that way. Uh, time out, please. Second time out called by Nova Scotia. That's, that's not bad, Ant. I just think you got a skinny by this so close that you're going to get the top one. Yeah. It curls in here so we can curl past that. I think the shot is to, well, no, it's, no, it won't go, it, it'll fall, it will catch the, it will catch that one. And if we get by that, then we're going to, it just, it's fallen there, remember? Every one that I. Yeah, so we can beat it off with the brooms as long as we're by this. No, one. see, I don't, yeah. No. So I can't believe she got through that hole. Well, I, I'm thinking like just I think. Third of the rock. Just third of the rock. Should hang on center. Yeah, and fall back. Maybe fall back. If we yeah, sweep, if yeah. We sweep, we yeah, with what kind of weight? All right. 
Well, we, we got to get rid of it, so. All right, we'll have to try and pound it back, and Because okay. I think that's just control. Hmm? Oh. I, th I think she can throw it down there. It'll run. She's running things. Right she's straight right about one thing. It'll run straight as an arrow down I there. Would play I don't know if it's going to fall there, off. So. The I think it's going to run straight down straight like a down, string. Yeah. Yeah. If you draw a string no, from no, the hack to that rock, right. I think yeah. Yeah. the broom no, looks no. good to me. Out turn. Harry doesn't know how Kathy got it through there, but she managed. Can knows it. How can I know that? Without without hitting the red one. I gotta hit it, huh? I gotta oh, hit it where the broom high. is. Oh no, I can't even. I gotta hit it full high. You don't like the race? Which shot would you run? Which shot would you throw? We gotta go. If you girl. had to throw it. Yes, and oh, I know. Lisa you're, said, you're I throw this. For me. I got Angie. Okay, control. So it's a hit for two. Final stone, Mary Matato. Oh. Last no. two ends, she hasn't been no. sure of what she wanted to play. No. no. Doesn't throw these with no. a lot of confidence. Curl, baby, a little more. Come on. Please. Oh. Oh, talk to it. Listen. As the sound of the sea lions can be heard here at the Agrodome. Nova Scotia gets there too. They trail by two. Saskatchewan to have the hammer coming home. Talk to it, Mary. Talk to it. When AT&T Canada started this dime time thing, I said to myself, dime boy, you got to be a part of this. Call anyone in Canada any evening, any weekend for a dime or less. Who needs the phone? Dime time someone you love, okay? I'm no hero. I'm just trying to get Canada talking. One dime at a time. New dime time, only from AT&T Canada. <laughs> she says she forgives you, but next time, she's calling Allied. Okay? Okay? Thank you, Canada, for making Allied the biggest and best in the country. Another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. tell you to know where you're going you have to know where you come from get a trackside perspective with a formula one preview tsn motorsports takes you inside the 1998 edition of the world's fastest circus the formula one preview see it and live it march 3rd on tsn thursday the nhl's best are back on tsn 
Catch an original six matchup between the Leafs and the Rangers. And best of all, there's no time change. Molson NHL Tonight. Check it out on TSN. The Canadian Curling Association acknowledges the importance of local sponsorship to curling teams across Canada throughout the curling season. So we are pleased to provide some deserving profile to their respective corporate supporters. Nova Scotia with two and nine get to within two Saskatchewan with the hammer coming home and the lead here in ten and there's a center guard up second stone now there was a throw through by Saskatchewan and this is the second stone for the Nova Scotia lead Heather Hopkins. Well, Saskatchewan tried sure. to tick, Vic, you're right, they were throwing it hard and down the center line, but oh, they yeah, thought if hard. it could possibly tick the corner of the one in the center line area, That's they could good, move guys. it over. Well, Remember, you can't completely remove it from play. It just did go by, so the second guard can go up. Just normal. Whoa, no, no! Close, yes! Yes! Terry Lynn Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Hurry, 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 go hard, go hard, go hard, right over, right over, right over. That's good. That's a good shot. Guard. You know, the dangerous stones are the front stones, especially when you have a a two-point lead with the hammer. I want everything off the front. Lisa McLeod. No, wait only, girls. Let it work off center. Okay, come on, bring her now. Bring it now. All the way. More yet, more yet. All the way till she stops. We're going, Daddy. That works. Nice one, Lisa. You can see all that, eh? Do you want, okay. Yep. Karen Daku. Yeah. Again, the importance of this game. Both teams at four losses. And one of them will drop to five. Manitoba has run PEI out of stones in 10. 6 3, the final there. So Manitoba will stay at five losses, improve their record to four and five. PEI to three and six. Yep. No, not in, guys. Okay. That's good. Nice shot, Lisa. Grace Columbia Whoa! and Sue no! Garvey getting ready for her final stone in no, no, nine, no, 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 trailing no. New Brunswick. She's trying the double. This is a tough oh, shot. Oh. Getting the one on the side of the eighth foot and trying to come across. Oh. Kathy Floyd just made a terrific double herself and across and by. One, steal of one for New Brunswick, top four. And it's an 8-6 game. New Brunswick ahead of British Columbia, BC. Coming in at four losses and two off, two off, two off. going to be tough to stay there. Well, BC definitely made a choice no, in that no, game no. that uh, they were going for the bundle 
and decided, I guess, that they would rather have the hammer coming home even down the second point. Yeah, because you could have drawn for one. No, it's there, Ant. Heather. Straight one, Mayor. Is it lined up? Normal. Two stones out front. Yeah. A little messier than you'd like it at this point. Saskatchewan leading by two with the hammer. Angie Bryant. She's just talking herself into yeah. the fact that it's heavier than uh, it is at this stage. Okay. Slows down in the house, but not as much in the center part, the white part of the house, front of the house, rather. Feel that. This way. Peel. To open up that Nova Scotia stone sitting edge of the eight. Edge of the uh, four, pardon me. We could go in there for third shot, but I think that just gives it gives her something. Pardon? Yeah. Skips have made some nice shots. Well, it was in that eighth end. Okay. When the score was five to stop. three, and Mary had an opportunity to try and get her single. You're making it fall, yep. girls. You're making and it, it didn't work out. Yep. That was yep. really a tough end for her. too much because yeah but it'll bend in yeah, not the way I wanted this end to go okay I think just control weight eh Christy had like normal right yeah. didn't fall it just kind of bend in okay it's gonna give you control Trying to stay alive. Saskatchewan. Yeah. Kathy Trow. Hey. Hurry, guys! Hurry! Hurry, hurry! 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 Oh. Shoot. Well, now this is getting pretty interesting, actually. Tough Kathy's to mom watch. choices there. You sure I had that? Yeah. 
Well, what do you think going in? Like, just, just on the tight, but what about just biting the 12 foot? Well, not if we're biting the 12 foot, you won't be in. Okay, just throw a guard. They're talking about putting it in as a biter to try and no. tempt Kathy Trowell to make a no. play on it because that would be the third point, the possible no. winning point. No. This is up to the sweepers to try no. and get it to that Be spot. Be sure you're no. just biting, Heather. Be sure you're just biting. No, it's over curly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shot. That's not a bad spot, Linda. No, Kathy Trowell has to make a decision. You can just hit it and just roll in. And I'll count this one. You can yeah. count the back one. That's the shot. Yeah. Can roll in there. I think. I think so too. Just which turn and how much weight and those sorts of things. Can you take a look? Just needs to be full in. Hit the yeah. front one and just roll just into the roll rings in. and you'll give up the one and win the game. Okay. Well, as Kathy Trowell admits, not the way she wanted to play this. Tenth and final end up by two. That's and the record. rhythmic applause from those here at the Agrodome. Nova Scotia is lying three. Chikowski. Daku backing whoa. off. Yeah. Need the inside Three. roll now. Three. Need the inside roll. Whoa. Good shot. There it is. She'll give up one, but win the game. Saskatchewan wins it 7 6. Kathy Trowell goes to five and all important four losses. Nova Scotia loses yeah, their fifth. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. It's Introducing new McCain Golden Crisp Waffles. Made waffle iron thick to stay fluffy on the inside while toasting up golden and crisp on the outside. Treat yourself to the real waffle iron taste of new McCain Golden Crisp Waffles. Waffle iron thick to toast up light and crispy every time. Next winter, as Newfoundland and Labrador celebrate their 50th anniversary, the country will be celebrating unity through sport. The 1999 Canada Games are coming to Cornerbrook, and TSN will take you there. For more than 30 years, young Canadians have realized their dreams, competing province by province for a national title. Help us celebrate sport and culture from Canada's newest province. The dream continues as we count down to Cornerbrook for the Canada Games, March 8th on TSN. Purex has gone to great lengths to give you a longer lasting bathroom tissue. Purex Double Roll. With twice as many pillowy soft sheets on every roll, it takes forever to run out. Purex Double Roll. Pillowy softness that lasts twice as long. For years, you've heard the debate. Duracell. Energizer. Which battery lasts longer? Duracell. Energizer. Duracell. Energizer. Duracell. Energizer. Duracell. 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 Recent tests proved that Duracell Energizer. outlasts Energizer. Better make it the alkaline battery proven to last longer. Better make it Duracell. Thursday, the PGA's best tee off at the Nice. New Brunswick and British Columbia. So New Brunswick with an 8 6 lead. 
British Columbia Sue Garvey has the hammer coming home and again this is a team BC we got at four losses if I don't get this draw just right Floyd is trying to bring her back and help every team Let's sitting hit that at five. Red one. Yeah. Right on the edge. I think this is the right shot. What do you think of this ice? You're throwing normal. Normal. June's came up. First to the skip stones here in 10 Kathy Floyd she's lying one covered edge of the four looking for the inside roll spill the stone out the back and it'll go good sleeper good job well she's made some good shots we just sort of mm -hmm. glanced over there in the last two or three ends we saw one <laughs> end where she actually fell with delivering her her last stone, but she's made some good back. shots. Back All right. Thanks. Yeah. What do we need here? Six and a half? This is yeah. a big game for BC to, to come back and win or for Kathy Floyd to win. It's a. Uh... Jesus. Wasn't happy with that delivery, was she? No. It. In other words, and she dropped it. Hurry! She dies! Hurry! PC Hurry! was Hurry! hammered this morning, nine Hurry! nothing Come by on! Alberta. Hurry! Ah, rub in front. She take, takes it back and kind of picks it up, and then watch just. It hits the uh, hack, drops it, yeah. She could actually stop there as long as she doesn't go across the T-liner and let go of the stone. Hang, you have to hang on to the stone. I don't think it's there. Covered that one now, I guess. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Somebody's cheering for us. <laughs> she just has to stop before this T-line here, and you cannot let go of the rock. No, no part can go over this line. Well, I could just, you could even just draw to the other side to lie two, and there's... Don't no, let's play the guard and let her take her chance. Play sometimes that. the guard is the... You could draw over here to lie two, as long as you don't set up a double. Yeah. She's two up. You like this? Well, there's it's lots of time the for Kathy Floyd here. She looks up and checks the time, 1.38 and time down, but it's just 1.10. For Sue Garvey, so if it's a, it comes down to a shot for the game, she's talking about just playing the guard. She makes the guard. She's in pretty good shape. This is where I hogged last time. She could end the game by playing a. I'll just uh, give it a little extra. Yeah. She's right. In the eighth, when she ended up stealing one, she did hog her final stone in this same area. Line's good. You could you could draw down though and lie two on the other side of the rings and just get them even. Whoa. There's no way that the officers can get the two on you. So. Whoa! Let it sit. Let it sit. Freeze it. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah, whoa, freeze whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. 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 Right down on top. Oh, work. Well, it worked out pretty well. It, it, it froze. If it doesn't freeze, it leaves a double. Timeout's been called by BC with 107 on their clock. Can we double those out and stay no. for two? I don't think so. I think we got to play the double raise off double. this one. No. Red, red. No? Got anything else? Can we get by this one enough? No, red. I know what you're saying. You're talking about that one or that one? No, this. These two. We keep our shooter. Okay. I don't know. Nope. 
Well, she, she just doesn't feel like she can get both of those by hitting them, and I think she's probably right. So they're looking at a double raise, this onto this, onto that. Is this one going to stay, though? I don't know Might if she's go got enough room one, to come to that angle. I, don't I think, think we have to is. hit it right there. Okay. Right there, Jen. Yeah. Normal weight. Double raise. Yep. Okay, she's decided yep. to play this double raise. So really all she has, I think, is to drive this back onto this one here, yep. trying to drive it onto here, killing both of those, and hoping the shooter yeah, lies over here. Trailing by two, yep. Sugarvi needs two to tie here Quick. to force an extra. Quick. And won't get it. It'll be a steal of one for New Brunswick and a 9 6 win for Kathy Floyd to keep her chances alive and hand BC a big fifth loss. So New Brunswick is now four and five, as well as British Columbia. Through 14 draws at a Scott <laughs> Tournament of Hearts, and they're happy Bye, at the Thistle St. Andrews. Dear Dave, I asked this cool girl out, and she said yes. So I got a trim, a new shirt, and bought flowers, which left me with exactly not a lot of money. Dave, am I glad Wendy's has a super value menu. We got Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers, Biggie Fries, Baked Potato, Caesar Side Salad, and Biggie Drinks. Everything was delicious, and I think I'm in love. Tim. I love happy endings. Wendy's super value menu, where everything is always just 99 cents or $1.39 every day. Home Hardware presents Close to Home. Because at Home Hardware, help is close to home. Here's a look at tonight's feature. Stay tuned. It's been part of this country for generations, on neighborhood streets from coast to coast, as Canadian as winter and hockey. Home Hardware, helping Canadians build their dreams. Look for these feature products. Felt Guard's Super Hold Heavy Duty Self-Adhesive Pads to protect your floors from scratches and scuffs. Choose from Trigger Start and two-piece Benchmark and burns matic Propane Torch Kits for do-it-yourself projects. The new Formula Liquid Plumber Professional Strength Clog Remover. The fastest and strongest through standing water, guaranteed. Home Hardware, where help is close to home. Wendell Clark of Calvington, Saskatchewan had his NHL career forged by the timeless dedication of his parents, Les and Alma Clark. Well, basically, they sacrificed everything uh, growing up in a small town. Uh, I traveled to uh, a city to play, basically 100 miles, three, four times a week to play hockey, one-way trips. And uh, my mother and my father uh, went out of their way. And my brother's also a big part of it. Another episode of Close to Home, brought to you by Home Hardware, where help is close to home. of champions. Champions are made through consistent performance in good times and under pressure. On their triumphant return home, SAS Power congratulates the Schmerler team for its gold medal performance in Japan. SAS Power, proud sponsor of World Champions. It's time for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by Super 8 Motels out of our featured game, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan. Well, it was really an interesting game. There was a number of chances throughout the game for both teams, Mary having a few and Kathy having a few. But in the seventh end, Kathy Terrell makes a very, very uh, nice come around with her first stone. She gets to the top of the button, and that really sets up this end, and, and she eventually has a draw for the second point to the eight foot, and she makes that as well. But it's it's good come around on a spot that was tricky. She gets it to the button, and that sets up two points and control. Saskatchewan goes on to a 7-6 win. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN and Super 8 Motels with over 1,600 locations throughout North America. 
Life's great at Super 8. Kathy Trowell in Saskatchewan with the win. Oh boy, they remain at that crucial four losses and they pick up their first win in four games on TSN. Linda, Kathy <laughs> must like us a lot better now. Well, Kathy, we're just saying, and you were just mentioning to me, you're a little happier about playing on television now. <laughs> yeah, we finally got a, a W while we were on television, so that feels pretty good. Now, it's that time of the week. You can control your own destiny. You have two big games tomorrow, but if you win, you're in a great position. That's right, and our goal is to make those playoffs, so we're in control of our own destiny here. So we're hoping for a good day tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we look forward to watching. And thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Linda. Vic? 14 rounds are complete. One more day of round robin play still to come here at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Retirement planning is really working with the client, finding out what the needs are, to, to know the dreams so that we have to write our RSP for that client. That's how my team can make a real contribution. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. You don't choose to have an accident, but you can choose your repair center. More than one million Canadians have relied on AutoPro, the largest network of automotive professionals. AutoPro Collision, a courteous reception. Professional repairs. Qualified technicians, specialized equipment, and in addition to AutoPro's national warranty, take advantage of our deductible protection plan, AutoPro Collision. People you can trust. Since the Hendrick Racing Team started using Quaker State, they finished 1-2 in the 96 Winston Cup standings. Finished 1-2-3 this year at Daytona. And they've won at Rockingham, Bristol, Martinsville, and Charlotte. Which makes you wonder, is it in their blood or in their engines? Quaker State. The quality the Hendrick Racing Team demands. The quality your car deserves. Scott Tournament of Hearts from Regina, Saskatchewan on TSN is brought to you by Cottony Soft Cottonelle Bathroom Tissue. So three draws, one day of round robin play remain and we've got the separation that would not provide any tiebreakers. We've got four teams that are clear of everybody else, led by Alberta, Ontario, Team Canada, and Saskatchewan. Then there's the teams at five. British Columbia, Manitoba, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Yukon Northwest Territories. They'll need to bring one of those teams back, probably the team with four losses, and that's Saskatchewan, if you're trying to and hoping for tiebreakers, as they will be. Coming up, 10 a.m. Eastern time, in draw 15, New Brunswick, Yukon Northwest Territories, Kathy Floyd, Kelly Kahlo, they are both sitting at five losses. And if they hope to be in a tiebreaker, they cannot afford another loss. So that will be our featured game in draw 15 on Thursday morning. Stay with us next on TSN. Extreme Bloopers is coming up. And then Sports Desk with Mike and Darren at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Now on behalf of Ray, Linda, and our entire crew, I'm Vic Thanks for joining us. Canada's most comprehensive curling coverage is here on TSN.